Wa. How wow. Wa. It is wa time. <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> it is wa time. We've got five minutes before the key, four minutes before the keynote's apparently supposed to start. Hello, everybody. It is me. It is Saturday. I am still sick and I don't have a lot of energy. But FanFest is today and I'm not in Japan, so I guess we're watching it online because they said I could. <laughs> only, only I think this, only this day and only some things can be co-streamed. The keynote specifically can be co-streamed. So I was like, literally looking in bed at the post and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I can do that today instead of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> God, it's so funny seeing the X logo. Just a random X from a standard font. <laughs> but, <clears throat> heckin... My mom... Oh, heckin yeah. getting Cerberus a sub that my alerts ain't capturing for some reason. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I think I gave you my... I, I think I'm at four months as you, but I broke it. I did not send it. <laughs> like, my... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking... God damn it. Well, we're just gonna get straight to the meat and potatoes. Wah. Heckin... What do you mean my sub didn't... Sub alert, now. There we go. The bread is here! <coughs> Can you believe it? They I have a friend posting notes in the FC Discord. I'm in, so I'm gonna get... Be getting 14 from two different sources. <laughs> no worries. Freaking. I, I'm, I'm like so brain dead right now. I'm so brain dead. I can have food now. Heckin. Oh yeah, yeah. actually while, while we're doing this little, they're doing the little thing. So we've got, I found two bingo sheets on Twitter. I found this one. I found this bingo sheet and I found this bingo sheet. I don't know if we're going to get any of them, but it's going to be really funny. If, if, if I get bingo on any of these, they'll be really funny. I'm, I'm I, really hoping for Fem Hrothgar. I want to see them. Yeah. I'm really hoping for, um, some more showings of whatever the next class is. Gonna, I love this, but I, it, it probably won't happen, but I want that butt slider. <laughs> I want that would be very fun. I want that. I don't think butt anybody slider. would be expecting it. I would want it. I want it so much. Okay, I got a minute. Garlean restoration, instance homes. I'm I'm down. I, I don't know half of what's on the butt sliders since 1.0. Sure, 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 sure. I want butt sliders. Honestly, what I honestly what I want the most is an updated glam system that's like wow, that's across characters. Mm. Yeah, customize your butt, Cerberus. Make your butt bigger. My 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 sheep needs her dumpy. Garlean restoration is something I really want. I I I, I will trade everything away for my dumpy. Hi Nancy, oh, yeah. how you doing? No good. Give What's me my watching? dumpy. Polo needs her dumpy. Um, we're watching the live letter. Mm -hmm. Or not live letter. Final Fantasy well, fourteen. Yeah. Oh it. okay. Heckin. So I hope everyone's ready for a comfy day today. Because we're gonna yep. do. Fanfest. I'll probably turn on the captions for this too. There's no captions, never mind. Let me get it in my volume too. Not me watching your stream on I'm so curious if my system will be able to run Dawn Trail. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Yeah. Oh, we're getting the trailer? Full, full trailer? Updated trailer, hopefully, Updated. with new class. Guys and boundless Are they gonna fix the Rianji's face? I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? Maybe. <laughs> Enjoying myself? I don't know. Could only show so much in the last time they showed the trailer. Because I know the first one was like a moment. Come now. This one was a three. No cause for panic. <coughs> it's 
seen it as well. I am familiar with fun things. I am a little bit stupid when it comes to the new <laughs> stuff, so if I have, I have any questions, uh, will, will, will you I don't know. My dumb I have the sneaking suspicion it's going to be a lot of the same set, but tropical this time. Yeah, feel free to feel free to ask questions. Hi, Godzilla. Oh, I want Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want Monster Hunter in my Final Fantasy. <laughs> yes. Give me more well, reason not to play Monster Hunter. <laughs> See, I just can't do Monster Hunter combat. It hurts. <laughs> It is way better than it looks, I can promise you that. <laughs> Don't panic, I'm only on five. Taco. Oh. Okay, more. Oh, we're seeing more of that. Yeah, that's new. We didn't get, they took, they cut Graha eating the taco. People are gonna riot now. On that walk alley. He'll, be, he'll be here. Ooh. He'll be here. Oh, I have a cat no. aggro. I'm it's going it's to ask a dumb question. It's back. It's here. Oh, that was there before. Those, uh, those lizard people. That's new. Uh, okay. Are they, um. They call them do, they speak, do they speak Might common or, do, yeah. or are they, uh. They do. Okay. I don't know if they have their own language. Everything has their own language. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if it was like, we're gonna simplify it and make it seem like we're talking about language, but we're just gonna speak English. We need Graha with like a taco with a free meal with a box on the ass, so like, <laughs> the whole work. I know there was a new uh, final one. Hi, Sadin. Yeah. I have no idea if that's available. 14 was like, this is the only nine food we're giving. Phoenix was like, this is the only nine food we're giving Lynn. Oh, I need it back. Here's the thing, dude. As someone who does party finder, I'm not playing the new job because getting parties on Reaper was already so hard. Oh, oh it's crowd hey, doing something now? That's a bingo. Oh, the that's on the bingo that? sheet. That's a picto. Crowd is the new class. That's fun. Oh my god. And it's Pictomancer. It's Pictomancer. Oh, oh, oh it god. looks cute. Oh, oh no, it's making... cute. Oh. It's they're like making art monsters. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's Pictomancer. That's really cool. It's a Final Fantasy class, I think. I had no idea. Cool. No, I yeah. had it's no cool. idea. It's that's actually cool. really cool. That, that's it's extremely sick. cool. Pride's in that it doesn't have positionals. <laughs> That means Kryl's gonna be important for once. Thank you. Please? Holy Can Kryl actually be important Lord, oh for once? Oh my god. Look at this new world. Yes, your soul is not getting a character Ooh, arc again. Oh my god. Uh, oh. Music, yeah. The addition yeah. of more music's really nice. Like right. How often that was the same. So yeah, many people were thinking you was gonna be an adult. Give Alpha no chapstick. I, I'm so sad he's not an adult. When are they gonna hit their growth spurt, dude? When? Hey! hey! <gasps> Cat moms! Yo, that's a lion. Uh, that's a Rothgar. Oh, that looks fucking Female cool. Rothgars! Cat moms! Is that not a thing before? No, they weren't. No. Nope. Okay, we need to actually see it, though. But it looks very promising. It looks like the Viera males, I say. They were out of later. Before Viera dropped out. They know what doors Viera they've opened. <laughs> yeah. They okay, well, first off, anymore. I hope they have body types. Yes. So, first off, uh, Fremgrar. Yeah, I'm gonna they would. Uh, oh, fuck. We'll have, to look the, we'll have to look at the bingo later. We already got Fem Hrothgar. Oh, uh, Zoo, is she gonna come out dressed up like Cryo or, or a Viper Meteor? <laughs> Give me, give me Yoshi P and cat ears, or give me death. <laughs> now give me the butt slider. Dang it! I'll remember this. <laughs> oh, look, there's a new anniversary glamour we're gonna get. 
a baseball teacher. Yo, don't start. Freaking Japan loves baseball. They'll do yeah, it. Yeah, baseball's huge. Ah, uh, man, bring, bring, bring back the coronavirus system and just more. Like they'll bring them they'll bring them back they'll just be a cash shop item now because it's the seasonal's over yeah, they okay. need to they need to stop doing expensive clothing collaborations because i i have the letterman jacket thing please just do please just do a uniqlo collab <laughs> for the sake of my wallet <laughs> Dude, if if JoJo will do it, Final Fantasy will do it. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine if like Yoshi P came out with butt pads and he was like, "What's like?" Mina Yoku, Mina Mitero, Watashi no Dampi des. Watashi no shiri wa saikou da, saikou no shiri. That means that, yeah, no, his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt was definitely Michelangelo. The, yeah, the Renaissance artist, because Pectomancer. And then the, the ninjas, because. Yeah. He's good. <laughs> That's fun. Well, the, that was a double whammy then, because they yeah. shared gear with Ninja and uh -huh. artist names. Yep, that's why he wore it. When that's I saw it, I was like, okay, it's going to be something that shares the same gear sets. And then it's probably going to be Pictomancer because the turtles are named after artists. Pictomancer is really hype. It's so fucking hype. I prefer it to Green Mage. Honestly. Yes. Yeah, Green Mage just was. I would. I couldn't have. I couldn't see Green Mage as. For a start, <laughs> I yeah. Couldn't, I couldn't see Green Mage working as a DPS class. Because that, there was supposed to be two DPS classes. Green Mage is more of a support heal. That I couldn't. Prob hmm? It'll probably be my new go-to magical DPS. Green Mage would be cool, but doesn't work without the like yeah. 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 yeah, it's mostly yeah. a debuffer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and they just removed like all all dot classes <laughs> from the game, basically. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame because dot classes are my favorite. Yeah. Shout out to all my people who played Warlock and WoW. Okay, so they said there was going to be interpretation. はい、こちらはえ、YouTubeとえ、Twitchです。新平アスタイルってそれかって、それ吉田の新平アスタイルなだけ。みんなダブルチェック。よろしくお願いします。え、世界中の光の選手、ミヤさんの。ええ、そう、ミヤさんの。ええ、そう、ミヤさんの。ええ、そう、ミヤさんの。ええ、そう、ミヤさんの。ええ、そう、ミヤさんの。ええ、そう
<laughs> millions uh, worldwide. I was unable yeah. to attend the London Fan Fest uh, because I was very busy working on 7.0, so Koji thankfully right took over. Um, but it is going well, our development progress, and I am making sure to uh, fuel my motivation with a lot of tacos. So, tacos o taberu koto de motivation o bafushi nagara ganbatemas. はい。ちょっとウーバーイーツタコスね、上がるんだね。ちょっとウーバーイーツタコスから so once again, welcome to FanFest in Tokyo. This is a dreamlike FanFest being held in Tokyo Dome. And we want to kick it off with my keynote, the subject of which is, of course... That shot is so cool. I'm so glad we're going to have an expansion where the world isn't exploding, hopefully. The newest information on our expansion, Dawn Trail. Oh wow, it has been a minute since I've been logged in. え、そして気になる。発売日はですね。きっと3つ目のファンフェスだから発売日出るんだろうなと思っていると思うんですが、現状ギリギリまでちょっとすいません。スケジュールの最終調整確認をしております。uh, so, wow. given that it, this is the third Fan Fest, you're probably <laughs> expecting us to announce the release date um. of Dawn Trail. Uh, unfortunately, though, we do have an internal date that we are targeting. We are adjusting the schedule, uh, making sure it's fine-tuned as much as it possibly can be before announcing, so we will not be sharing that today. Not fine. They should not. They should not. Yeah. They, should not. they should not. It's way too early for that. I don't mind waiting as long as it's fine when it comes out. Especially with after Ed Walker. Honestly, three months beforehand probably would be like a good time period to actually give a date to like April. Mm -hmm. For them, most likely. Um, if you're wondering why, well, it's because, as you know, yeah. for Endwalker, for the very first time in my career, uh, we had to I mean, that, like, one clip of, like, him uh, crying. We don't want that to happen again, even if it's just Yeah, that one clip weeks. of him, like, crying uh, so over it being, like, released late fucking sure killed me. make sure that our schedule is on track before announcing, but yeah. we'll give you that info as soon as we can. so much. Yeah. 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 Not to mention a lot of people respect the heck out of the 14 team for just being forthright with we'll get it to you when it's good. People are saying, mm -hmm. you mean yeah. October then? It's not going to be I mean, summer, it's going to be October, isn't it? No, no, it will be summer. Just... Final Fantasy VI is saying it's summer, and it's coming out in August. We said in 16 we were going to release it in summer, and it came out in June. It's not just the time for the school, it's the time for the school to release it in the summer. Uh, we will not be releasing on Square Enix time, we will be releasing on 14 time, which means properly in summer. So we will work very hard to get you that info as soon as possible and we'll have it for you next time. So thank you for your patience. No, no, I'm fine. あ、ましろ。黄金のレガシーの中身について <laughs> that's, that's not even a job name. <laughs> Will it be called I wonder, or is it going to be called something different? Everybody thought that Viper was going to be called Corsair and then it was called Viper. Uh, it'll probably be something different. Let's see it. Because they do like special names. Oh, oh that's cute. A cute outfit. Oh, it's cute. We're already hitting the high mark. <laughs> Oh, it's no. just a big paintbrush. Oh, nice painter outfit. 
All of the effects. Oh, I like how that goes. I like how that goes. Bro, come on. Man, this is kind of toony. Yeah. I was about to say that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was about. Yeah, this is uh, Splatoon and Okami. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, you make a wow. move up. So this is what's in place. Uh. <laughs> song's kind of a bop, too. Someone's gonna start paying Den Sub. <laughs> Someone's gotta pay Den Sub. Okay, they're gonna call it Pictomancer. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. What? Okay, I love that art as a cat boy so much, but I'm also very biased for cats. DPS? Yeah, range DPS. Or no, 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 magic DPS. Mm. Did you guess correctly? Well, no, I don't play that much. <laughs> yeah, uh, at Las Vegas Fan Fest, I wore a very uh, mysterious t shirt. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I feel like it was a good hit for both jobs. Pictomancer was in FF6 and you told me that I'm going to do it. Uh, Pictomancer was the it only job to it. debut in Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI is a fude or sky. Does anyone know anything about Pictomancer? I know nothing. Exactly what I was told. Yeah. Uh, in FF6, Pictomancer used their brush uh, to draw their enemies and therefore use their techniques. It was like Blue Mage before Blue Mage. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna need to look up the lore later. モンスターだけじゃなくて、絵を描いて、それを魔法として攻撃や補助などの効果を発動させていくという見た目にも非常にユニークな丈夫になってます。FF14's uh, Pictomancer um, has a bit broader of painting skill. They can paint not only monsters, uh, but landscapes and other things, not just the enemies that they are currently facing. Uh, and they also have a very unique appearance. Uh, that really had nothing to do with the classes. No, Koji! More Doma! has become Pictomancer. More Doma? There's like more, 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 um, more Koji stuff, thus more Doma. I'll take more Doma. Mm. Uh, because Kral could never fight before, right? She was always sort of stuck watching things at home. I think she probably tried really hard to take on this new role. It's interesting because I would not have imagined Kral as a DPS. The funny thing is, I think, isn't Kral's um, outfit from Six as well? So it's perfect. Uh, is it going to be a limited job? No, I think it's an actual, like, it's a standard DPS role. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, I, I think it would be a little bit difficult for me as a I, I feel like they wouldn't go through this whole entire reveal to have to be a limited job. No. But they did tease another limited job that's going to be happening. People are, like, shocked. That might be something, like, ま、グリーンメイジーとビーファーストさんです。素敵なモデルさんに新ジョブ衣装着ていただいてます。あ、ま、今の表紙、everyone yeah, the crop top is I lovely. love how the brush looks. That's yeah, so What's kind of sad wow, is they didn't impressive. fully show Kawaii the male set, the so the male equivalent shirt might be different, good. might be the same. I mm. hope it's the same. I think, I think yeah, she's going to rock. See, this, this wouldn't be a good look on me. All the cheering up. Of oh. course it would. I want the guys to still have the crop top. Everyone keeps saying, no, it'd be fine, it'd look great, please stop. Pictomancer's衣装を着たイメージキャラクターとして登場していただきました。So our model here is wearing the job outfit for Pictomancer. So you're saying he found the line. How does it feel? Good. 
Yeah. I do like that the pants kind of look like they're stained pipe paint. Yeah, I like nice how the touch. outfit looks like it's stained. <laughs> My gear was also high quality, but man, this is impressive. Now what I'm hoping is... What level do you start the job? Normally it's, normally it's not too uh, if you could far stay in. Up here while we finish introducing normally it's 20 under, so it's probably going to be 80. It looks that's like what it's it was nothing. for that little peak of the, of this the boys might be also getting the crop top because the little bit you see. Yeah, I hope, I hope so. <laughs> Reaper and Sage started 70. Uh, so this will be ranged magical DPS uh, using the gear of casting. Yeah, I think it's going to start at 80. Ooh. Yep, yep. Uh, I know painters, a special and they wear clothes that is their of that brush. same color and bagginess while working. Mm -hmm. Just obviously full body instead of high fashion. Honestly, I just see you on the stream saying you wanted to see my midriff. Please, please stop and pay attention now. Um, so there is no requisite class for this job. You can just start from the job itself. So okay. it's probably going to be the same formula, 10 levels for job quests and then expansion. Yeah. That's how they'll assume people will play it. Oh, okay, sweet. You're welcome. And the job quest will be beginning in Gridania. Oh, Gridania. That's fair. Because Reaper was in Ulda and Sage was in Limsa. So, what does that mean? Uh, so long as you've completed the requirements, you will be able that to pick up this job That means that as long as you're level 80, you can go grab it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, which also means if you're going to play it on expansion release, you're, it's been a long time you're gonna since we had a job quest have to level Gridania. up the job first. Yeah. <laughs> which is good because it means that you can't just jump into the expansion uh, the with a new class and then fuck it up unique, for everybody. So I hope you'll look forward to that. It's like they want you to learn how to play the class before it becomes uh, actually something you can play. Like in combat. Yeah. I, I personally think that's fine. Yeah. I like the idea of it starting a little earlier so that you can have even more time with it, but 10 levels to kind of get the vibe and then go into it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Aether in their brush to release their power by drawing pictures. Yeah. Personally, but that's also just because I love lore and I want more job quest. Yeah. ファイナルファンタジー uh, creatures, weapons, and even landscapes. It's just Brocho God from Team Titan. Can you just draw me the mount from Eureka, please? <laughs> <laughs> Um, we have quite a few original uh, visual effects for Pictomancer to really make it look like they are drawing. <laughs> It is a nice touch that before the illustration they actually had the uh, of course, in mm. order to create a work they had like the line in the sketches time, um, before to go along adding final that, paint. You also have instant cast spells and abilities. Uh, and Powerful. a Pictomancer does not simply... What if all my monsters are at three-fourth three fourth angle? My favorite is seeing super beautiful art and then like, the whatever works hands. I, want, I want to see that. I want to see a thing where you do like the ninja to hand signs for ninja, where you fuck it up and makes like a really bad doodle bob level art piece instead. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen something similar to that. From this one artist that I that I occasionally see, really beautiful art. As soon as they get to the feet, I get it. I get it. Feet suck. 
蘇生魔法は持っておりません思いますので、先ほどの動画をもう一度ご覧いただこうかと思います。So I think you have a good idea now in your mind of what Pictomancer might be like. So with that, let's take another look at the video. どうぞ。Let's go. Let's see if we can decipher anything about their skills. I like how the new world has some crazy fucking new magics that we've never seen before. Why so can't? It's all with blue mage now going to this shit. It's great. Why can't here actually have those animations? They're so cute. Yeah. They drew like a fucking Titan get jail spell. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna BRB real quick. I'm gonna use the potty. Obviously, I'm not going on BRB screen. I have it on my phone so I can keep track too. I'll be right back. I miss you already. Thank you. Yeah, How cute. was it? We need, we, we need more just like fun jobs for the sake of fun that aren't just like totally edgy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we have a question from the chat um, asking, okay, even if I am just terrible at art, can I be Pictomancer? <laughs> Uh, I am so bad at art that it is like just, just so dreadful, and I'm fine, so you'll be fine. I it, it's not, it does not require artistic skill. Hi. Eh, Thank you to our Pictomancer. さあ、ここでちょっとピクトマンさんに関してですね、ドイツ語のプレイヤーの皆さんに一つお知らせがございます。Uh, so in FF6, uh, both the original and remaster, uh, Pictomancer had previously been translated as Duplicant. Duplicant. Yeah, I'm so ready for the epic fight where we're literally just slapping paint on people's bloodstream style. A battle for the <laughs> battle to save the world. Uh, yes, paint, Duplicate paint, has, paint, a, has a bit of a special meaning in MMOs, you know. Dupes of items. Uh, but at the time, uh, because the job was in fact uh, duplicating your enemies, that's why they translated it with a name that means duplication. ただ実際こうピクトマンサーという ピクトマンサーに作っていこうとすると、どうしてもジョブ名とイメージの開きが出てしまうので、今回、FFシリーズ全体で競技をしてですね、14のドイツ語版では今書かれているように、どちらかというともうピクトマンサーに近い、こち
for all of Final Fantasy with everyone involved. Um, so thank you, and、uh, we hope you'll enjoy the new name. まあやっぱりこうシリーズね歴史が長いとこう発展していく中で当時ねその限定した機能に対してだけ名前を付けたものが後になってねこうそれを拡張しようとすると噛み合わなくなるっていう結構例かなとは今回思いました。Uh, honestly, when you have such a long running series as Final Fantasy, you will run into these cases where what made perfect sense at the time is no longer working for us.、Um, and this is a great example of the sort of stuff we deal with. But the series is not a good thing. It always was a little like, crazy how official they make like, small little like, changes to the game like this. It just like, shows how much they care. I have a goddamn book explaining why everything's numbered one, two, three, four.、Uh, but you know, as we grow and develop as a franchise, we <laughs> really need to adapt. I just、um, the assumed they were called that for game reasons. No, I didn't know that. It's what it says. So they used to be called here, Kira, Kiraga, etc. But we changed to one, two, three, four because it's way easier to understand for everybody. And there's just a book that explains that in the game. さまざまなキャラクターが登場する黄金のレガシー、そのストーリーについても触れておきましょう。いや、I mean it, it is much harder to explain it that way for sure。which will feature myriad characters。え、今回皆さんにお届けするのは再三英雄光の戦士への最高の夏休みとお伝えしてきました。Uh, as we've mentioned, we will be giving you the greatest summer vacation a warrior of light could have. I can't wait for my s u m m can't wait to work on my vacation. God fucking damn it. The site of this vacation and be the continent of Tural. I can't wait to work on my vacation. God fucking damn it. I can't wait to work on my vacation. Uh, and the reason we will be going there is for the right of succession for a nation over there.、えー、その依頼主となるのが。The words of Twilight. <laughs> and the person who has requested our help. <laughs> こちらのキャラクターです。It's her. Catman.、Um, oh, the next ruler of Pearl, huh? Oh, huh? t o r a l 大陸の王女、ウクラマトというキャラクターになります。Pretty much what people thought it'd be. This character is Wuklamat. She's the daughter of the current ruler of Tural. Which is very, very exciting. It, I, 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 それらはぜひ皆さんの目でお確かめください。Um, And then some people found like animations that、um, seem to go pretty,、um, seem to blend very well with、uh, Femro's. So they're, they're thinking they're at least going to be around Femro height. That's what people think at least. But the legs that people kept passing around, they were, they were, they were waist to waist with male Aura. As Femro's, who we've introduced today, you will be able to meet her in Patch 6.55 Part 2. Yeah, okay, so that's why they found the legs and stuff, because she's already technically somewhere in the game. Uh, she is a very strong character, so I hope you look forward to getting to know her. Clearly! I don't know if you're interested in the patch 6.55. 
Okay, so you're wondering, I'm sure, when is patch 6.55 coming out? You know the other thing they should do? They should go back and add more NPCs to the world of the different races. Oh, that's very <laughs> jarring. Ten days from now? Ten days. <laughs> okay. Obviously, after FanFest is over, we are all going to be passed out, so we're taking a week and then releasing. That's when she's going to appear. And also, we are planning to have a 24-hour maintenance for this patch. Oh dear. Mm. I mean, yeah. I got to double check. I think a paid subscription. Oh, so. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, this is because we will be replacing the entire Japanese data center infrastructure with newer machines. え、これによってですね、さらに安定性増しますし、um, we're sorry that it's such a long maintenance, but this will contribute to future stability and our ability for the servers to handle things like items and housing. So we ask for your understanding. New world housing? Wait, what? They mentioned housing. Let's see what Turtles are doing. Well, they mentioned that they're upping uh, so the amount of items that people can have in housing, so it's probably in prep for mm. that. Oh. Where the fuck is Turtles? He's over there. <clears throat> um, so on the map, you'll see that... Like how we still don't have Bill's bar mapped out. Nope. It's too cold. Like Gollum Gold with the Tower of Babel still. Uh, and on the left <laughs> is what we've shown you so far. <laughs> There's stuff above the Toro. And we will continue to show you the left. Right. Oh. Me in the back of my brain still wanting more Garlean content. Oh, Tural is actually a very we got a raid, but my raid alert didn't go off. Saki, hello! Hello and welcome, everybody! Welcome, raiders. Heckin... Uh, so this Heck is it? the full new... Hold on. Hello. How are you doing? That's a loading screen art. Uh, and this is the oh yeah, that's a loading screen art, definitely. We're having a good time. My voice is a bit shot. Um, my voice is a little bit shot considering I'm still kind of getting over a like a sickness. But we're just having some chill vibes and watching the... Watching the FanFest um, keynote way, for, for uh, the new expansion coming out later in the year. Yeah, that shot's really nice. Sorry that my alerts don't work. They're supposed to work, but they're not. Well, yeah, she's a flash of water. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so the two I've been trying to get my raid alerts to work, and they just span do from not. North to but south I can try to fix it this way. One, one second. Yeah. <laughs> ここではちょっとネタバレで言えないさまざまな出来事により、ここでは、ちょっとネタバレで言えない様々な出来事により、ここでは、ちょっとネタバレで言えない様々な出来事により、ここでは、ちょっとネタバレで言えない様々な出来
新たなフィールド、えー、振り返りと新しい情報を交えつつ、えー、ご紹介していこうかなと思います。Um, so、let's both review and take a look at some new information on field areas. <笑>まずこれまではスクリーンショット等々でしか出せなかったものをまとめてですね、<笑>えー、既存の情報を公開した部分、<笑>動画にして、えー、ダイジェスト動画を作ってきましたので、まずはそれをご覧いただきましょう。Uh, so far, we've only been able to show you a few clips and screenshots,、uh, but we've put together all the materials we have so far into a、uh, collection、uh, that we will show you now. So, <coughs> let's go. I'm loving the Viper aesthetic already. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, is that with the new graphics too? I think it is. Looks like it, yeah. I'm so glad I upgraded my PC. Holy shit. I'm literally in the middle of upgrading my PC, dude. I'm probably not.、Uh, oh, I should have it upgraded. Bro, there's not some machinist shit in here. I'm gonna be pissed. That's like <laughs> unspring attack. It's like, yeah, it's like perfect for it. Cerulean palms made of wood? Yes. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> That's a nice ether, right? Yeah, wow. Okay. Jesus. So pretty. Yeah, it is. Oh. Ooh. Shiny. Glowy. Very. That's a spotlight plant. Let's fucking go, dude.、Uh, Thank you. Those are cerulean pumps out of wood. It's so weird. Yeah. It's so weird. 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 ではここからはですね、まあ既存エリアの紹介でしたので、さらに新たなエリアを、えー、ご紹介していきます。It's serving like a meringue a little bit. Yeah. <笑>ちょっと今まで見たものとは気温が変わるので、like、towns on the west side of the map. すみません、多くは語れないです。Uh, it's a, these are pretty different from what you've seen so far, and、uh, for that same reason, we can't tell you a whole lot about them.、えー uh, please understand. <coughs> uh, we'll start with a video.、Yeah. Oh, I forgot. My Steam was downloading another thing, and now my、uh, Final Fantasy update is getting faster. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh. What the fuck? What? what is this? Okay,、there? this is funky. Where the fuck are we now? <laughs> What is this? The... When did we get to Cyberpunk? Tron. <laughs> It is Tron. What is this? Are we in Night City now? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, there are actual billboards and shit, too. Is this the same game? I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was in her space station for a second. Holy Christ. Is it、What、gonna. Is awesome. Okay. They have to please be, please be something else other than Garlean tech. Or not Garlean tech. Elegant tech. Is this what Lopritz has been doing since we've been having our back turn? Yeah, so it's a pretty sudden change of visuals there. Yeah, you want to explain? Yeah. エリアまあちょっとね動画の方では本当オブジェクト全然出せないネタバレが強くて出せないんですがえエリアの名前をソリューションナインと言います。Uh, we really can't show you a lot of specific、uh, objects from this area because it would be spoilers, but we can tell you it's called Solution 9.、えーねまあえー、I mean, they have been putting like a lot of cyberpunk almost like future aesthetic gear into the game, so it's surprising, but we know the team's into that aesthetic. I will explain、a、it just a little bit. A different civilization. Eh, Triola to a 全く異なる文明によって築かれた摩天楼とその。These new world guardians. 
Uh, so the fact that it's called Solution 9, I actually couldn't see it being like Laparitz. Yeah. It sounds Laparitz. I think you can probably tell just by looking. But I don't think they would pull over Laparitz. Constructed by an entirely different civilization. <coughs> um, but maybe have a think about why it might be called Solution 9. Um, and we have one more screenshot to show you. Yeah, there are eight other solutions. It's like the Citadel from Mass Effect. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh. It does. Okay. Look so at it does it. have. The gear from here better be the sickest shit. So it. Destroying, uh, I will it does have here. like. It does have like roads, right and the other only other people we know in the game so far that have roads are Garlands. Whoever sees me, I will only be able to be here. here. <laughs> Um, like I said, we can't really show you specific also, objects we just in talk this about setting the because it would be a spoiler. So we Garleans have cars, and it never background. went to the rest of the well, world. No, the rest of the world was like, screw your cars. They're hyper isolation. <laughs> we have choke. We have giant chickens. It's giving me Omicron uh, vibes with that name. Facility, yeah, uh, in any yeah. Case, it's quite Omicron would what we've be seen. interesting too. Uh, my friend says it has 13 uh, two vibes. It will be a player oh, hub, so you can expect yeah. a lot of different facilities uh, and features there. Yeah. 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 Cyberpunk and Monster Hunter are part of 14, so fuck. <laughs> yeah. Have a good workout, Saki. Thank you again for the rain. Let me get to the bottom of the goddamn stream uh, but, element. You know, as for what this place actually is, what sort of story this will take place here, like, um, you'll just have to imagine for yourself something that is quite different from Cope. what we've seen thus Cope. far up to 6.x. Let's take a look at the new area. And I'll show you one more area now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? Uh, this is the concept the art. Train. Train. Is that, the, is that solution uh, nine in the background? Maybe. It, maybe. I think that is. This area is called Heritage Found. Heritage found. <coughs> is this? It reminds me of seven. <laughs> like Midgar. <laughs> They're uh, upper and lower. Yeah. Course. Yeah. It's serving Midgar for sure. That and there's a the train. Can we suplex it? まあ、しかもこう、これ新しい、and it certainly looks like the stuff in the foreground and the stuff in the background were constructed by different civilizations, but this is all one area. Oh my god, we're just getting Final Fantasy 7 electric boogaloo. Uh, this area is uh, absolutely replete with lightning energy. Wait, so if there's a heritage loss, does that mean there's also... If there's a heritage found, does that mean there's also a heritage loss? Uh, and you'll just have to take this in the spirit of there are a variety of areas coming. まあ、これまでね、黄金のレガシー、自然地形とか、公園とか紹介してきたんですけど、ま、こういった、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの
Why do I have a feeling the carousel horses matter a lot more than they're telling us? Thank you, Scott. Sauce, we're going to trail will have a variety of areas and things to experience. So, we have a circus boss fight. We have the merry go round. Wait, we have. You've heard of the golden saucer. Now, time for the mithril saucer. Never. The new beast tribe. Let's fucking go. We've talked about the areas. Let's talk about the people who live there who might become your potential allies. Slightly terrified by the new friends on the on the right. So in this area, there is a deep-rooted culture of giants. Though they are not called giants, they are called the Yokui. Banu Banu Zoku also has a similar appearance. Just a colorful, colorful group. It's called Hanu Hanu Zoku. Uh, we also have these colorful folks who look quite similar. I am excited to, to see more goblins, though. They are called the Hanu Hanu. Hanu Hanu. Hey. 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 Uh, but the most important part. Little Mamulja baby on the right, on the left. <laughs> Can we look at? It? I, I love the Mamulja waving. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, the most prominent example is, of course, the current ruler of Tuliolo. This. Two-headed ghoul. He's just a guy. He's just a little guy. Just a guy. He's just vibing. He's like, yeah, I run a food stand. It's doing okay. It's not, yeah. it's not an exciting life, but it is my life. And I just have to live my life. <laughs> um, what we're showing you in the screenshot is but a small sampling. Um, in the story, I think you'll find that the Mamulja are very diverse, um, including their perspectives and values. I think what's fun is that their builds are really different too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're showing us a good variety of like different types here. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how yeah, the waving mamulja is my favorite. Change your adventure and also how you specifically will feel about them and what you will take from yeah. the story. God, I want to be that. I want to be that. Kind of yeah, um, so now let's move on to system updates and more details about the individual content. Technical issues. That's good. Yeah, well, we the new what do you think the new Rock is going to be? Oh, God. I'm just getting upgraded. Um, so we will, so. we will be giving an overview of all of 7.0 as well as some updates for the current version. We will be giving an overview of all of 7.0 as well as 7.x, including as much new information as we can share right now. I was hoping for the meme they were going to do 99. I'm sure they'll address that. I'm going to have to do a number shrink like wow. I don't think this game can number shrink well, though. It's been more than 13 years together. Has it been that long? Yes, it has been that long. It's 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 been that long. Thank you all so much. Um, it, we've gotten to this point because of you. もちろん、え、新生スタートのタイミングから始めてくださった方、ま、最近始めてくださった方も含めて、ま、光の選手の皆さんがいてくださるからこそ、ここまでね、我々開発チームの長い旅でもこの10年あったと思うので、
その果てにですねついにレベルキャップが3桁になるとこれ長く続けられないと到達しないので本当にありがとうございます。Um, of course, all of you who joined from 2.0 and those of you who have started playing recently as well are equally important. We could not have gone on this long, long oh, journey really of 10 years if without they you and reached this milestone of a three-digit love cap. I've wanted those for so long. Mm. Like, not connected to gear. He's like part of character creator. Mm. Looks like Kenway from Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, so including Pictomancer that we introduced today, as well as Viper, we will have two new jobs in 7.0. Viper, who's gonna play as Viper? Oh, three, four, five, thirty percent. Yeah. Who's gonna play Pictomancer? Everybody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you talking about? I'm doing everything. Who's gonna play everything? 当然やろうみたいな感じでありがとうございます。Everyone's like, yeah, obviously I'm going to do that. Thank you. もうコメントでもそりゃそうだろう。Of course. まずはピクトマンサー、バイパー、どっちもやる。結局全部やるって書いていただいてます。ありがとうございます。I don't know if they'll play the new classes, but they look fun. At least if I get there on my turn, I'll try Viper out. まあ正常だけじゃなくて、他の I'll I'll try it, but. ね、レベルキャップ解放された新たなアクション追加されますし、大きなメンテナンスが入る場合もありますので、like、基本の処分もですね、mm -hmm. えー、しっかりアップしていきたいと思います。I'll die, I'll die a dark night, I'll die a dark night, but I will get every class. We will be adding new actions and updating our previous jobs. I'll, I'll unlock them all and I'll play them. I'll probably check them both out, but obviously I'll be on Black Mage. Hell yeah. I'll be on Black Mage. Um, so like, they're really cool. I don't think they are enough to make me change mains. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the hunt. The hunt. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited about it. Uh, of course, as far as everything on this screen goes, uh, we're, we just want to let you know that Probably the hunt board. Yeah, I think it's the hunt board stuff. Oh, no, I'm and of course, we're just like generally. It's always been called the hunt. I don't know. I'm too blindsided by Pictomancer. The progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. I want to see the dungeons. I want to see. I want to get. I want to dress up like a goddamn fucking Aztec death warrior. Just to finish up, I'm going to show you a video. This is the dungeons that we are well that are well underway, and also that will not be spoilers for you. Preview, 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 preview. <coughs> All right. Riverboat okay, starting ride. on a moving. I really love the dungeon music. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. It's gonna be, this can't be the. Oh. Huh? This is gonna be the boss music? No, it can't be the boss music. It's gonna be just the music. Probably like mid boss music. Ooh. Could just be the dungeon theme. Yeah. Not like the boss themes are consistent. Yeah. All right, like Machu Picchu, bud. Machu Picchu is mountainous. Yeah. I was high up. There was nothing around. Just empty uh, skybox. Okay. Oh, this uh, is. The water. The water looks mm. vastly oh, improved. Oh, oh, that's a dungeon. Let's go. Oh hell yeah! New dungeons. Who the fuck is trying to kick his ass? I'm not lying. Gonna lie, I'm in the game right now. This got me to want to play again. Oh, I've been I've been running some dungeons on the side. I'm watching, but I'm also setting up the Twitch alert system, the Twitch alert box, and trying it out because I'm done with this shit. I'm done. You, that's what I. You streamed your last element. <laughs> I, I use the Twitch alerts and they're pretty cool for, for me. Yeah. The only thing is that when you change them, they can take a bit to update. Yeah, I never really change them, so there you go. But that's it. They've streamed the last element. Also, I get free two free animated emotes. That's the first time. New I get two more animated emotes anyway too. Yeah, I need to drop four new animated emotes. 
<laughs> oh, look at that cat dog! Look at that cat dog! Buff! Buff! It's so red! Big boy! The middle one is a clearly the techno boss. Uh, so we have Big the ones we've introduced so far. That looks Rally so Gamanda, cool! Eliminator, and that there are also some interesting so monsters jacked. outside of the that has to be, that, we can't, I can't wait to see those in the, in the gold he tunnel. He is ready. Representing our server well. <laughs> this this thing looks like it it lifts perhaps too much. <laughs> Such a jacked fucking cactus. <laughs> Such a jacked fucking cactus. 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 Such a Punch oh, the heck out of you. Not more spikes. Well, NPC, that's I think it's not just the NPCs uh, in the new environment that are exciting. Part of it is experiencing these unique monsters as well. え、そしてもちろん、強敵と戦う上でですね、コンテンツサポーターに関してもアップデートが行われます。uh, and of course, uh, while you're fighting, you will want these uh, duty support updates on your journey. え、今回、クルルがピクトマンサーにジョブチェンジしておりましたので、ついにコンテンツサポーターデビューのような気がしております。uh, given that Kryl has changed to Pictomancer, yeah, I feel like he will be making uh, duty support debut. クルルさん、おめでとうございます。Congratulations, Kryl. She's in it now, boys. I have a lot of feelings about Kryl。I feel I really owe her one, so let's use this to pay her back. We're still not giving a Stola an arc. Fuck you, Stola. But she got the she got the dance a little bit in the last patch. Is that not enough? No, it's never enough for anybody. I don't care, honestly. It's just really funny because I keep hearing people talk about how they want your Stola to go through a character arc, and I think she's fine. Is she she went through a big character. Arc. Yeah, but apparently it's not enough for some people. I have no idea. I was I, I think she's fine. <laughs> I think I think she's fine too. Yeah. She's done her art. She's good. She's blind. Leave her alone. Um, so all of the new gear that is implemented in like 7.0 the, will have the graphics all the people update applied in to it. The science um, so definitely take a look at that quality arts. once you get in game. Yeah, yeah. Ryle's the only one that like did not. Uh, these are still in development, but we did bring a few screenshots, so let's take a look. Let's see. Let's go! Woo! Samurai one. Oh, oh that, yeah, that Gunbreaker samurai. one is... Um, right. so oh, I want the left. Is that, no, it's a machine, it's not Gunbreaker. Samurai, is that a machinist? What the fuck? No, that looks like a machinist. That's ma no, wait, it's got the bell here. I don't see the, I don't see the pack, though. No, the, that's Gunbreaker. Yeah, okay. The pack's right there under the arm. Oh, sorry, I thought I was really that was machinist. And that looks like Paladin. No, that's Sage. You can see the, the Sage? Theory. It's oh, okay, a little I didn't bit hard to tell from the yeah, screenshots, so... um, but each element of these yeah. outfits... Uh, a summoner, samurai, texture, sage, gunbreaker? Um, yeah. <clears throat> really much improved. Well, I love the I love the silly scholar robe so much. Hello, Izzy Man. Hello, no, I'm going to follow up to the stream. Um, I think especially the quality of the cloth really stands out. Um, of course, over the course of your adventure, um, once you have time for a break, I hope you'll take a close look at this gear. Uh, that would make the devs really happy. <laughs> oh, that's machinist. Oh, well, apparently people yeah. are already putting so together the Mansa rotation previews. That's Reaper right there. Um, so here we yeah, it's Reaper. Oh. Machinist, Reaper. Astrologian and Paladin. Uh, Astrologian it's pretty good. And Paladin. I'm, I'm happy with that for Reaper. The headpiece, nah, the rest of it, yeah. Yeah, the fur coat in particular, the fur coat is good. Headpiece I, I will probably not use. I can just feel it in my bones, it's gonna take my ears away. 
I mm -hmm. will continue brushing oh, up and improving <coughs> the yeah, history the paladin right one sec. until release. Hmm. もちろん、え、ジョブ専用装備だけでなくおしゃれ装備というところにもご注目ください。um, of course, it won't just the be gear. We'll also too. have plenty of fashionable gear for but you But I as like well. big stupid hats. Alright, so let's move on. I want more hats. Um, <coughs> more like <coughs> wizard hats. <Expansive new lifestyle. coughs> uh, we have told you that there will be expansive new lifestyle content. え、企画内容はですね、固まりましたので、ちょっとコンセプトアートをご紹介していきたいと思います。And uh, finally our plans have come together so we do have concept art of that to show you. こちらです。Oh. Oh, is that the moon? <laughs> that's the moon. Oh, that's a Is that's that a crafting? That's a crafting set or gathering. Wow, <laughs> <crafting laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, the, look at the look at the look at the back of the city town. Glopper's built outside of the fucking burrows. Uh, so as perhaps you can guess, the next lifestyle content will take you to various different planets. Oh, various planets. We do have the right girl. Planet is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so the shot of that like futuristic mm -hmm. world could not even be on our planet. It's basically what they're telling us. The futuristic world was some continent. あの、大陸で冒険だとか言ってるのに、お、じゃあちょっとあの星行ってきてもらえるかなみたいな。You're <laughs> 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 um, thinking, oh, all right, I'll let me go on an adventure to the continent of Tural, but let me just uh, pop over to this other planet also. え、こちらのコンテンツタイトルこのようになっています。コスモエクスプローラーと言います。The uh, name of this content will be Cosmic Exploration. That sounds super fun. <laughs> no Man's Sky Final Fantasy XIV. Um, Perfect. Yeah, there's as we in No Man's Sky. Intended for everyone to work together to make progress. Oh, so is it going to be like? Is it going to be like Restoration of Ishgard? Restoration of the Universe. Yeah. Um, and with each update, the star that you were working on... <laughs> we're just going through the universe, reminding people that they are not alone and preventing their planets from destruction. Main quest to a kotonari masuga, patch 7.x series, junji ko tenkai sare te iku. Or giving them existential dread, saying that, hey, you are not alone. Um, it'll no. be a little bit different than the main scenario, uh, but... Definitely keep oh, an eye out for this things. and think about what kind of places you'll visit and oh, what will it happen there. Saint。あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
Those of you who played FF11 will probably know, but this guy is called the Shadow Lord. Well, どんな登場をするのか、それから他にね、どんなボスとかキャラクターが登場してくるのか、ストーリーはどうなるのか、気になる部分多数あるかと思います。I'm sure you're very interested to know、uh, how he shows up, what other characters you'll see, and what the story is overall. Okay. Echoes of Banadir. Patch 7.1 からスタートしてまいりますので、まあパッチ 7.0 終わってこちらまたね注目していただければと思います。Um, so we will give you more details in future PLLs,、uh, but for now, just know that Echoes of Vanadil is coming at set from 7.1. Hi, では、Alliance Raid を紹介しましたので、こちら新たな物語が始まっている。We were expecting this. Yes. Big Raid に関してもお伝えしてまいります。And we have another new story coming with the Eight Man Raid. さあ、こちらもですね。コンセプトアートが仕上がりましたので、そちらを見ていただこうかなと思います。Okay, we have a concept art for that as well, so let's start by taking a look. Ooh, what the? That's just a graphic it... card. I was gonna say it, it looks like Solution Nine. Yeah. To, to, かけ離れすぎていて、なんなんだ。This is really different of, from our art for the expansion in general. <laughs> GPU, って言ってる Is this a GPU or what? Grabo, <laughs> graphic board, が起立してるって言ってる I definitely see a graphic board. <laughs> He sounds so holy. Holy shit. Don't mind me redoing a thing. すごい、あの型番めっちゃ連呼してる You don't all know a lot about this hardware. Eh, ma, itta doko na no ka ne? So, nan na no ka? Sappari wakan nai to omoimasu. Ah, but what is this? I'm sure you have absolutely no idea. Demo, ano, mina san, grabo poi. It looks. I'll tell you what it is. It's gonna be what makes my computer sound like it's dying. That's what it is. My my computer about to go. Computer go brrrr. The raid title has been decided. It is. The Arcadian. 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 Don't mind me just testing my alert out. The Arcadian. What story will it be? I wonder. The Arcadian. The Arcadian. This is literally Neo Mona from Destiny 2. I'm not going to see the other one. Really? Of course, there will be a myriad new characters coming with this raid. ものがたりはですね、ファイナルファンタジー14完全オリジナルストーリーとして今制作が進んでおります。え、もちろんですね、ストーリーを進めていくまあ難易度ノーマルと難易度が高い、レシキそれぞれちゃんと用意してあります。
we still don't have that Xenos minion. We know what that means. I could see like Warrior Blade. I'm thinking we're gonna go in order of. Yeah, they don't have one like Eden. the Shadowbringers team. Ah, yeah. Ah, He's about to drop something Eden. heavy on his Eden. I yeah, knew it. Ultimate Eden. <laughs> Good. It's the girls. 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 It's the So I want to do that one. Uh, yes. So part of the oh. story yes. from Eden will be our theme. Hey, uh, this is the art of Mio Boe. I'm sure you remember this art. I'm sure we can put together an ultimate Eden static one. Futures rewritten. Futures rewritten. So the title will be Futures rewritten ultimate. Interesting. I want to try. Let's just hope it's not as bad as top was. As you know, this is also the name of patch 5.4 and along with its art. え、今でもですね、非常に人気のあるストーリーとそれからキャラクターたち。え、ごめん、そちらを。I want me and Lin drawn as Lin as Rin and Gaia. Which one's Rin and which one's Gaia? I don't know. This is uh even now a popular story and very popular characters. Um so please look forward to uh what we will do with them in this race. Obviously she's Rin. パッチ7.1でリリース予定となっております。We are planning to release this ultimate in 7.1. まあぜひね。Okay, a little bit then. A little bit later, yeah. Stand offish bitch with a heart of gold. I hope you'll take your time with it. You know this. So not until fall or winter this year then. Also, I'm taller. Yes, you are going. Content updates. Oh, That means more glowy Reaper weapons. So basically, all you need to know is that we will be updating all of these things during over the course of 7.x. New deep dungeons. <laughs> I still haven't finished Pals of the Dead. No, you haven't finished pa uh, Dead Pally? <coughs> no. <coughs> I haven't done Heaven on High either. You need to start with that. Uh, um, Hildebrand I like is the, really eating up like our budget uh, with yeah, it's it's not change, like the DSR the one. We <laughs> need more. They really want to work on Hildebrand, so we're letting them have it. We're giving the dev team and the gays what they want. The dev team gets to make all the cutscenes they want with Hildebrand. Let's go. Easy to go. Um, our major PvP updates okay. will be starting from 7.1 uh, because we feel PvP you have update. plenty to keep you occupied with 7.0. They really are giving us Hildebrand and Eden. Dev team and the gays eating good. And we've received a lot of feedback on this subject, so we want to talk a little bit about new field operations. え、一部ですね、インタビュー等ではちょっとお話ししているんですが、パッチ7.X Sanctuary was fun for a bit, but I I need more Bosja Jason content. Yes. I think that's part of what this expansion was missing. Um, so please wait a bit, and we'll give you some more information. Bro, I still I want to do more. Do, I mean, I finished the Bosja and stuff, but I still want to go fight. Literally, now that I'm done with the Savage, I'm gonna be just doing ultimates and Eureka. That's my plan. If you want to, I'm gonna be on the grind. 
Please forgive my spamming alert things while Yoshi P talks. <laughs> my occasional Bernard censoring of Yoshi P's face. Um, but we saw so I've been wearing the, the crop top. We worked hard to develop the content uh, into something that a lot of people got to go to bed. No worries, Rafa. Thanks um, and for we have being taken here. For a while, but it will be back now, and we look forward to developing more similar field operations. Oh my God! I almost got the exact size. Hey, just one more announcement, content wise. I'm gonna <laughs> click over to your stream. I want to see what's happening. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> it's only every oh, couple looking. minutes. I, I'm, you already missed it. I'm only doing it every couple minutes. I'm just trying to freaking do this. <laughs> I love like stealth mode testing oh, alerts. Wow. Uh, so we announced before that we will be having a new limited. New limited. Oh, uh, a, a third the job. Oh. Already. Seven point so, uh, right. Uh, it's a green mage. Right? <laughs> Um, today we will tell you just the name of this job. Let's go, oh. let's go, let's go, Ooh. let's go. Beef Man! Yo! I was, I guessed it right! Let's oh. fucking go! Yay! Yay! I guessed Beast it right! <laughs> I miss your smart. All right, I'm only playing limited jobs then. Let's fucking go! Oh, oh okay. Thing. I'm assuming that's new. Beast can we get, can we yeah. a special Beastmaster only try when we go back in time to fight Roger again? Here's the thing: is that Beastmaster like, jobs. I, I love pet collection games. I'm so yeah. Looks like I still looks like I still have time in 14. I don't know how much, but yeah. I do like being a Pokemon trainer sometimes. Yeah. Beastmaster, my favorite job in WoW was Hunter, so. Uh, yeah, when, we got, uh, when we got the pet collection in a long time, pretty sure was a mine ran deal. out yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, here, so. We are thinking of having some kind of collection. Anything that allows me to, to collect it, little uh, friends is instantly a problem. Sort of addictive personalities. I have collection issues. Yeah. Um, so that is our updates about 7.0. Like, 7 almost bought a $50 art book just for the minion code collection issues. I still have a Matoya's hat um, that I have because I got sent the the second Eorzea encyclopedia. Now I only need the last one, and I'm so excited. <laughs> what's, funny, what's funny? My mom also plays MMOs. And, and when I told her that, she maniacally laughed, and she was like, you got that from me. Yeah. Like, oh, um, so it is proceeding quite well, but as a massive update, uh, we're con currently contending with bugs. Uh, but I'm sure you want to see how all the different races are coming along. Uh, so I will now show you oh, a little bit about uh, each, each race that you might want to play. Yuran, please just please just circle, circle a small so thing on the face again. Please. That's one of the guys of all time, though. Version, um, Look at him. Right, we'll be Look at Nero, a fucking DMT5 Nero looking at us. Yeah. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, so the update this here will look like this. Oh, he's smiling now. That's noticeable. That is, that is yeah. very noticeable. The hair I'm, especially. I'm glad they're adding some yeah. more transparency to this, like, skin. There's Looks layers nice. to the hair. Yeah, there's depth. Um, there's so as you can see, the uh, hair is a lot more clearly defined. Um, and also the, the edges of the lips are really nice, too. Improved, uh, and the face the looks ears more also are, looks more fleshy. More they're defined and their shadows are a little less harsh. Yeah. The clothing is almost has more, uh, yeah. They were mentioning that they were going to. As I said before, we could do wow. more, you know, change things more, smoothen things more, uh, but we do also want to. Also, look at the keep brick in the, the image of the characters the yeah. same. So honestly, if you think, oh, changed, it doesn't so. look that different, that's kind of a good thing. 
さあそれからですね各種種属<笑>初期装備<笑>種族装備ありますよねあれも今回全てグラフィックスアップデート対応しています<笑> Um, also, oh, I have eight days of playtime remaining. Each race,、oh. uh, will be included in this <laughs> update as well. Next paycheck is going to be too. Check, my check is over. 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 Right, the the original. <laughs> the oh, the extra shadow. depth to the banks is nice. The shadows under the banks. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and the, ch the choker. It seems like for the most part, it's very similar model. You can tell the chin too. Like this chin has a bit of a divot, while this one doesn't. Yeah, they smoothed, they smoothed out their models and updated their textures, as, which is was, what was needed. Extra highlighting, better shadows. Their metals look a lot better, less fake. And also, if you take a look at the shadows on her cheeks, you can see that they are much more natural now. So, next. Highlander, a male. Now we have a Highlander male. Ah, wow. Rob on's gonna look fucking crazy. Yeah. Might be worth it to go back through and do MSQ stuff just to see. Yeah. 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 Much better without the highlighting in the middle. Yes, before we sort of had a mishmash of textures looking there, but it's a lot smoother now. Now, the face paint is surprisingly darker. Curious to see what that looks like. They show me. They better show me Makote with scars. Though, <laughs> <it's my Makote laughs> <has been>. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes look really different on this one, though. Actually, yeah. they're a little more like sunken in looking.、Uh, yeah, they look more like they're a bit smaller. Yeah, squinted. Ah, yeah. 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 Ah, Huh. Yeah, it sells their deep set much better. Yeah.、Um, and around the eyes are also much, it's, the features are much better defined,、um, so that will allow you to get a lot more specific in your character creation. I still think the best looking in the update is probably going to be. Take a look at the Elizin Aura. And the updated version.、Wow. That's a bit nicer. At least they don't look like they're perma frowning anymore. Yeah, glad they got, I'm glad they fixed that.、Uh, they also look like they've de decided to hydrate a bit more because the eyes here are a lot more sunken and dark circle y, while this one is. Yeah. Yeah. The cheeks have more meat.、Uh, the cheeks yeah. As well. we were having some,、uh, I was literally actually just talking in that video I made about, about, about how they needed to add more volume to their faces. He, he might look a bit younger and fresher than before. Here's the original for an Elizen female. And the updated version. That's actually probably the most same、yeah. that's of all of them. That's the biggest, that's the most. The eyes. Definitely notice the eyes. Yeah, wow, yeah, they don't look dead. Like mannequin eyes. So with the increased poly count, I think it's become a lot more natural. Yeah, the increased poly count already. And it should be easier for you to get a sense of realism with your character, or perhaps realism in an FF14 sense. あとは額のあたりのやっぱりこうセルフシャドウですね自分の髪の毛が自分に落ちるこうセルフシャドウがちょっとねこう処理がしきれない状態でちょっと浮いて見えるんですけどこの影のセルフシャドウのあたりもかなり自然になったんじゃないかなと思います。Um, previously, the shadow with the bangs was not very、uh, natural, but now it is、um, much improved.
I actually think their necks are every so slightly shorter. It's hard to tell if that's a trick of the lighting. Um, uh, you can also see if you look at the, the bricks, the proportions of the bricks um, behind them look. The I, I think it might just be the, of the, leather. the shadows just like helping sell it a lot more, make it look less awkward. Mm. We'll, have to, we'll have to see. It feels a lot better. Uh, with this update, it's not just like there's leather that has a singular texture. There are a lot of different qualities there's of leather that we, will, leather we were able too. to portray, um, and cloth as well. So definitely take a close look. Mm -hmm. um, so these are our classic pretty boys, the male Mikote. <laughs> it's pretty good looking already. This is what I'm here this for. Is the Ooh, the eyes look nice. Yeah. 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 The lip shine. Um, the eyes look really yeah, nice. Hair, I, I don't think they're going texture. to be as jarringly um, like bright yeah, anymore. Improved with this new version. I do hope they keep some of the brightness I in the eyes, though. Be even more of a hottie now. <laughs> <laughs> they know. And let's take a look at the Mikote female. Yeah, oh, and they have facial scars. Okay, cool. cool. This is the original. And the update. Okay. They're using the eyebrow and face paint options that nobody used. Yeah, but I see the face paint option smooth out real better. Yeah. I actually really like the bushy eyebrows on cat girls. They're really cute. It really shows the better highlighting. Yeah. Mm. Um, right, so with the highlighting dark skin, on the skin, previously really nice, we only yeah. had the ability to sort of change the color of your skin, um, but now we have this improved shine and depth, uh, so that even if your character is in a dark environment, um, the purple you will still looks more vibrant, but the yellow looks the much darker, which is interesting. Mm. I think the darks are going to look lighter, and the lights are going to look darker. Yeah. <laughs> I know people weren't too happy about the limbro ring changes, so I'm hoping they yeah, change the back. Yeah, if you look at the screen on the back here, um, we have, it's the same lighting, really, but they oh, look oh. totally different. Continuing on to a Rugadin Rogan, <laughs> male. I'm ready to see that face scar <laughs> transform. Alright. This is the updated okay. version. This is differences. Yeah. More, more subtle? Uh, I just feel like generally we have powered him up. The hair, every, every bit of hair is getting the upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody is slightly getting more of a smile and lip shine. <laughs> mm. Uh, in general, uh, all of the limitations we had before had a really significant effect on Rugen and faces in particular, uh, but I think that the update has really improved them. Uh, I have a friend who is really obsessed with Rugen, so I look forward to seeing how he will adjust his character uh, in light of these updates. Hey. Now let's take a uh, look at a female What's Miro Web going to be looking like? Let's see. This is current. I think they got a lot of places they can improve, improve with the lip texture. Ah, oh, hell yeah. You have... Wow. Okay. It's all, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Love the eyes. Yeah. yeah holy the shit. eyes look the eyes very, very friendly. They look so pretty. Uh, so similar to the males, um, each part of the female face was really affected uh, by the limitations we had.
ただやっぱりこうパーツそれぞれの精度が非常に今回高くなったことによって、まあ、I also like how you can see that the nose is like a little bit more bridged in this one versus the one on the left yeah yeah uh, but because we've been able to improve each part um, they now blend together better it looks less like they're just sort of a bunch of objects and shapes assembled あとはこう肌の表現とかそのこちらが。アップデートとも、ね、ないぐらい。The mouth a bit, the nose.、Uh, so we actually tried so hard to update this that we maybe can't tell the difference. The ears have more details in them. The fabric's obvious. The stone is more polished. The hair is probably the easiest to tell the difference, but the skin and eyes have also been improved as well. Yeah, I do see that the skin does have some improvements. The image is still there. Honestly, I think the highlights, the, the ear texture, that looks a lot nicer, it's a lot more natural. We tried really hard to maintain the image we had of Lala Fells while still making the individual improvements. Yeah, it's ああ、なるほど。綺麗に出るように、かなり細かく調整してます。三回ぐらいリテイクしたはずなので。あ、そう、while If you take a look at the gear here, you can see that the cloth, similar to the leather from earlier, is much improved. Now we'll take a look at a Lalafell female. This Okay. Oh, Hemkim, Jester's Quest, my alert's off right now because I'm fixing them. Thank you for Shab. ラフェル使ってる人多分いっぱいいますよね。also we had a raid from summoners network hello i'm sorry i didn't see the raid i'm currently fixing my stuff <laughs> because i'm switching to twitch's alert box because stream elements is just broken and doesn't want to be fixed what's up nerds and a lot on the stream as well uh, next more, an aura oh, male. Oh, 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 my guy! Yes. Hey! Hey! Wow. <laughs> the, the limbo rings do look better than last time. Yeah. So that's good. I'm hoping they'll show the limbo rings for the female too, because that's the thing. When they showed the example last time, they didn't include the limbo rings, and I was worried. <laughs> um, so as you can see, the uh, texture Horns look of much the better. Yeah. Skin, uh, yeah, improved. they showed it on female, and, and that was particularly what was. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I was worried because I was like, I like them being uh, bright and shiny. I, I do too. Yeah. 
Now unlock horns from faces and I will play and I will play Aura. That is my condition. I hope, uh, I hope there a we certain go. man uh, can find his Nama now that he's uh, graphically moved. <laughs> 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 Let's look at Aura female now. Uh, it's the original. Let us adjust <laughs> scale color. And the update. Whoa. The Limbo ring is very subtly different. I, yeah, I don't. Well, this one doesn't have Limbo rings. <laughs> we do. It's just the same colors we are. No, because it. I was gonna say because it's only. The, no, because it's only the bottom. This one doesn't have Limbo's. Um, so these Aura females already had quite a smooth and delicate appearance, but uh, we think we've been able to improve mm. that even. I like how they brightened up the 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 thing. Like this is like a like a yellow. Now it's like an actual like ivory. Why are they doing this to me? Like the the the, the scales and the horn just in color wise look a lot better. Yeah. Honestly, with like the new texture updates, I think Aura looks. Uh, we've used really, really good. Almost, almost enough. Eyes, so <laughs> thinking of switching. Get nah. that look that you're used to. Um, you can also get something. By the way, uh, I'm finally oh, making progress. Showing off like new eyes. The, uh, that's what that's it. That is. Yeah. Oh, they're showing off new eyes. Yeah. Instead of limo rings, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why the female doesn't show them. Okay. Uh, because we are aware that among the Aura players, some no. of you really like that currently uh, dead and soulless eye look that they have. <laughs> How else is Lin supposed to give me bombastic side eye? <laughs> uh, if you adjust your parameters correctly, you can still get that, so uh, just give it a go. Uh. Uh, and in general, with all the races, please look forward it's great that they're addressing to those players your character and yeah. your preference. Mm. Actually, because I love the hauntingly bright eyes as well. You want to mm. get into character creation, don't you now? <laughs> I'm making it further in the haunted mansion. Man, I might actually have to switch to Aura. Yeah. Out the details, um, but I do Rip. want to get every one of oh. you a free Fantasia <laughs> along with this. Hey. Oh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> fuck. Okay. Good. <laughs> They're like, just for you, Zara. Just for you. Yeah, they know. They know. Just for you. They know. They know I was about to be pissed if they changed how characters looked and didn't let people readjust for free. グレードアップさせていただくためにも幻想薬お配りしようかなと思いますので、ぜひですね、それを使ってこだわりのね、さらに。We know some of y'all can't control yourself. Let us enable you further. Well, it's also just—it's also just nice if, like, yeah, because I'm sure there's going to be some people who really dislike how their character looks now. So we do want to give you that Fantasia so that you can go into character creation and adjust your character to suit exactly what you imagine. Uh -huh. I think you can turn off the graphics Ooh, update stuff. Next update. we have okay. a Rothgar. All right. Show me Catman. Catman. Okay. You can see a little more of the, the actual texture of the fur a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's just the eyes a My assumption is that Rothgar and Fear are not gonna change. Probably not. They were just made pretty recently. Yeah. yeah. They already, they already uh, had the new advantage had against these, uh, everybody else. Yeah. So For it's probably just going to be eyes mostly. Distinctive fur shaders that will make their fur more realistic. It's better if you can sort of see it for yourself. And now Viera male. I mean, already he looks pretty good. And the updated version. Hmm. Oh, the oh, eyes look right. a little bit rounder. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the, the shading. And the lips. The, the lips especially. The nothing, yeah. nothing crazy, um, though. He already looked yeah. good, but we think we've brought him closer to our original vision uh, for what the Viera should look like. Oh, fuck yeah, Pony Boy. <laughs> 
全然違うのが多分分かっていただけると思うので、うんうん、特徴をですねより強く表現しやすくなってキャラメイクの幅広がってますのでぜひ理想のビエの男性追求してみてください。Um, so the shadows, of course, are much more natural.、Um, and also, the distinctive features of the Viera are much easier to draw out now. So please do go in and make the Viera yeah, of your dreams. Yeah, they somehow made them just look <laughs> edgier and angrier.、Uh. <laughs> uh, and now we have a Viera female as well. That's the original. I love, I love all the different c o l o r s And the update. Yeah, it is nice that they're showing like a good variety of different skin tones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's significant. You can't see the you can't see the bun bun nose as much. It's more so like with darker skin, the nose gets a little bit darker. Yeah. 影に入ると全部質感潰れてしまって凹凸も分からなくなるっていうのが、まあ、非常にねやっぱ開発しづらかったんですけど今回ここまで表現できるようになってます。Honestly,、mm, yeah, uh, historically, 14 has been pretty bad、uh, in terms of displaying this type of dark skin.、Um, you enter a shadowy area and it, it all、yeah, it, looks bad and falls apart.、Um, but their, with our new shaders, that will not be an issue. この状態でも影による陰影。それから綺麗にね感じられるようになってますし唇のね艶なんかもしっかり出てるかと思いますそうですねはい続いてなんですがグラフィックスアップデートのさらに染色箇所が鈍いになるというお話です。Are they going to show the medals?、Um, and now, also with the graphics update, we will talk a little bit about our two dye channels. Oh, oh two dye. I've brought some sample images, so let's take a look. Show us the double dyes. Ooh, that looks better red. Yeah, that looks pretty. Uh, so on the left, we have the original, and then、uh, in the middle, we, we have、go. the one dye channel dye、so、now, affecting the cape.、ね、My alerts should work because now I'm using Twitch's alerts. <laughs> two dyes! And、oh, okay. now you will have two、oh. dye channels、huh. to be able to create something like this. Fuck it, I'll make it myself.、Uh, which allows you to color the armor、mm. as well. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm going to I'm going to turn all my gold gear silver. <laughs> Show me wearing two half pieces of gear, <laughs> head pieces. <laughs> I love if they chose some of the tops where it specifically like darkens the shirt as well as the、yeah. outer jacket. However, the、uh, clothing itself would always remain white.、えー、それが今回2箇所染色できるようになるので、まあこういった形を出せるようになっていきます。Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. That's, that's, that's まあこれはあの much needed. なんだろうこう。It was always annoying when you would get a new piece and get super excited and then dye it and one part of it turns out wonky in a way you didn't expect. You can see the contrast now, and you might be able to judge me for my color choices. <laughs> Here's the original for a different piece. Oh, that is the. Oh, that is the graphics update on the face there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, green. Right now, just dyeing the cloth bit. Jeans take color. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. But in the future, this is what it will look like with two dye channels. A lot more customizability, which is really good. Yeah. It's like the same part of the same part of the same 二部目がどこが染色できるようになるのかっていうのはすいませんうちのキャラクターチームのセンスを信じてやってください
Um, so the reason that the entire leather is not dyed is actually because the middle piece uh, is a different material <coughs> um, system-wise than the rest of it. Um, and yeah. this is a limitation that we will still have when creating these new gears. It's uh, with still much better. Channels. Yeah, uh, it's still so, so yeah. much more customization <laughs> that you've just allowed. Sense yeah. of our design team yeah. to make sure that the right I think they're going to put one little thing. Yeah. I like how they turned it up. But like, listen, if we could do it, we would. Okay, three channel dice is the one. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Normally, they gradually update because they want to reach as like much of a player base as possible. Uh, so, mm. so that that much of like a jump in recommended is a little spicy, like considering, considering that it's, this upon them as much as it's you can. definitely a game type you want to reach as many people as possible. Mm. <coughs> Open beta. Uh, as far as Xbox goes, we will be beginning the. Yeah, I guess my graphics card is. Is below recommendation. I might have to. Well, no, I'm not gonna have a. I'm not gonna have a new PC by then. But oh. you could update the graphics card. I could update like the graphics I'm card, but sure my PC won't be able to handle it. Open beta, I, uh, open beta I think you could do like a downgrade. I think a 2070 Ti, honestly, right now wouldn't be too bad. Checking new age. Mm. Well, what's your um? What's your processor? Uh, I'm running like an i I really nine, hope that a lot of Xbox nine, players uh, will um, get started. Process. So my current processor is an Intel Core i7-8700 CPU. Okay. I'm recommending a 9700. I uh, and we are continuing our development yeah. of this new we'll crossover see. with FF16. <laughs> I think you could get it. I think you could get it. Oh, yeah, you can get a good deal on the 3060. Um, so yeah. This will be released I, I personally go to the 30 April. series over the 20. <laughs> early April, so just before the expansion hits. Yeah, yeah that was April. the difference between. Yeah, that was the difference between minimum and recommended. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are playing. Oh, I thought that was the difference between the, minimum and recommended. I was reading that wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a Zotac right now for three hundred and thirty dollars. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, here's the thing. If I get if I get any new parts and stuff, I'm building a new. I'm building a PC. Which what with what out right now, it's going to easily be able to run fourteen, no problem. Um, um, but so if I'm going to make that jump, I'm going to just build a PC. For 16, so, honest, I mean, honestly, yeah. I have a laptop 3070. That's what I'm running, and my stream still has issues running Final Fantasy because their optimization isn't great. Mm. So, I can give you a. I, I mean, I, I gave this to. Uh, I gave this to Zara. I can probably give it to you. So if you uh, um, and I happen to have a message. I've got to talk with Tristan, uh, Jester, because Jester is the one that's going to be helping me build the PC since he knows and how, knows how to get good deals on a lot of parts. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this would help my fan, uh, my cooler, to a cooler. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to look at the current recommended system requirements for FF. Um, and also to those of you who are already playing 16, uh, please check out the DLC, and thank you very much. So I would recommend a Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a good their current video card specifications are GTX 460. <laughs> oh no. Am I forgetting something? Something Roth, Roth. 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 They're like, Hrothgar, Hroth? They're like, wait. Yeah, no, we need a class trailer. Cat moms. Cat mommies. They're giving the furries what they want. Everyone's getting what they want. This is the year where everyone gets what they want. I'm sending to the oh, stream cool. chat the... Oh. Sending to the stream chat the recommended versus... The old recommended versus the new. Look how big they are. They look big. They're oh shit! Yeah, they do look good. That's tight.
Yeah, no, they look good. They look really good. Cat mom. That's that's pretty much all I wanted. The Leave us alone now. <laughs> that pose on the right. They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so before the art will really explode. Yeah, so it looks like the previous recommended is now the minimum system requirements is what's uh, happening with the update. We did our best uh, to straightforwardly make these as uh, sleek Basically. and strong looking as possible. Uh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Um, as you know, uh, what we have for the Hrothgar currently is that they hail from Ilsabard. Yes. Uh, it's Everybody was so scared. Everybody was so scared that Squeak, that Squeenix was gonna make them cute like cat girls, and it was like no, no, not with how people have been wanting them to be, and like all the fan art. I didn't think Square was gonna was gonna bend that bend over like that. They're gonna give us cat moms. Even their like original interpretation of female Rothgar from other games are still pretty muscly. Yeah, like I was like, we already have an example of like cat moms with like ten and the and the female Ronzo. It's gonna be. I felt like it was gonna be closer to that. So than just a fluffier Mikote. Yeah,もちろんね。プレイヤーの皆さんがキャラクターとしてご自身のねキャラクターとして選択可能になります。And of course, you will be able to play as them as well. え、種族の追加は大変なので最後にしたい、最後にしたいと私常々この10年言ってまいりました。I'm happy. Uh, making they a new race bad. is really yes. hard, and I have yeah, no, they're, uh, continually they're, they're, said they're, they're throughout the years that I'm, this will be the last one. I'm happy that they're... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this will be the last one. Don't worry, we'll give you guys dog girls <laughs> next year. <laughs> now dog girls. No <laughs> more. I just love their border. Uh, but perhaps Shoulders I can't. Right. It depends on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it depends on you, not me. Of course, our Wuklamat that we introduced earlier is also a female Hrothgar, um, and she is really a lovely character. She's just, no, she's just so a fluffy Mikote. <laughs> I love how they really, they really tried to play that off the straight face. Oh, she's just a fluffy Mikote. Just a new breed of Mikote. Like, no, come on, we're not stupid. We're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now with that, we are finally Like you said, we didn't need another out. cute cat girl race. Exactly, we already have a cat girl race. Now give us actual cats. Uh, but at the very yeah. end, I would like as, to show as you As someone one who mains Mikote, I do not want another more Mikote. Thing. What's this? Who's that? The art? Oh, is this the, is this the splat? Is, is this the cover Ooh. art? Yeah. That's, that's well, there's Cat Mom! Art. Yep. I like her. She's pretty. Is that, who's that person at the top? Uh, I don't know. <coughs> uh, so with this art from Yoshida Akiko, There's another cat boy up there that isn't Graha. Thank you. Yeah, it's like a Horsha font cat. I want more cat boy represented. Horsha cat. Will, I assure you, released on trail in 2024. Can I pre-order it? Pre-order bonus? Pre-order bonus? We will get the information on when the pre-order date is, as well as all of the collector's uh, information um, and special bonuses. Pre-order bonus, uh, you get, you get a bonus. Yeah. Uh, two free pets. You can always get the collector's edition stuff later on too. <laughs> Just not the pre-order stuff. It's the pre-order stuff is what I care about because like you can only get it during that time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Of, of course, I'm getting the pre-order stuff. Yeah. I mean, like I think the pre-order was how you were able to get Minfina's earring. You couldn't get it other, any other way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. I started playing. 
Her fucking shirt says Warrior of Darkness on it. Yeah, it does. Hell yeah. It's black. <laughs> I started like playing End of like Shadowbringers and I'm so sad I didn't get the Aetherite earring. Yeah. So cute. Yeah, she's gone, so now we're just not, we're, we just can't understand Yoshi anymore. But we can pretend. I'm sure it's just like a. Okay, bye. では。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。では、ご挨拶お願いします。はい、あの、改めまして、東京ドームに本日足を運んでくださった皆さん。<笑> Yeah, yeah, they're just doing wrap-up of, like, thank you for coming to the event type of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, oh, while, while, while fucking, that wraps up... This <laughs> fucking little expo here. So hype. So you can pre-order those jerseys they're wearing on the store in the clothing section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you can get them, of course! Oh, there's the bloody parchment. Uh, let's see. So, I was able to fix my alerts. Yay! <laughs> so I went over the first bingo card and didn't get bingo, but it gets pretty close. Yeah, so first bingo card Um, by As You're Right. Femgar, yes. Graphic update, yes. Yeah. Eight Man Raid, yes. Beastmaster, yes. Yoshi P oh, cosplay, no. They talked about the collab. Oh. Yeah. So I guess Dontrail. you can count it as happening. Yeah. Don Trail, yes. Explore Zone, yes. Uh, they did do Relic Update. They did do Relic Update right here. New Tribe, right. yes. Die Channels, yes. Uh, trust Updates. I did they do Trust? Studio. Did they do that? No, no. It said Cryo could be part of the thing, no? I don't think that counts, no. Oh, no. And then they, they didn't talk off. about Island Update. Did they talk about Explore Zone? Yeah, the the oh, outer yeah. space one. The right? outer space, yeah. yeah. Uh, Shinryu Alt, no. Yeah, oh, the space stuff. Yeah, and then that's pretty much it. And then Glam, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so no. <laughs> and then Persephius made a made a bonus. I follow them specifically. I follow follow him specifically. I... He's one of the people I follow that absolutely love Graha to death. Okay. Ava says here, Graha connoisseur. <laughs> Um, Let's see. I like so, how Xenos wasn't mentioned, so we can't lock Xenos it never mentioned. No. Well, here's the thing. Someone called out Xenos, and Yoshi P was like, Xenos! <laughs> but yeah, no, Xenos wasn't mentioned. So, um, Cryo legs. rolling up in the new job. Yes. Legs were Femme Hrothgar. Yes. CGI Cryo. Yes. Twins look. No. Revamp. No. Teasing new art conflict. <laughs> More housing mm. item slots. They They mentioned it briefly. Yeah, they talked about it previously. Yeah. So, so we got that these. isn't completely new. Uh, release date for 6.55. Yes. Free slot. Yes. From Hrothgar, basically Ronzo. Eh, no, they look a lot better. So no. More Latin American representation. Yes, we did get more of that. Crystarium housing. No. Collector's edition pre-order. Uh, mentioned, not a, a thing. But there is going to be stuff. It was just mentioned. So I don't think I want to give it that. Pictomancer, yes. Full trailer, Meteor is doing more hot shit, yes. Yeah. Beefy from Hrothgar, yippee, yes. Benchmark soon, no. Graha even cuter, yes. Meteor's hair made available, no. Dawn Trail release date, no. Green Mage, no. Viera Hroth hats, no. So, so you can't necessarily account out Blitzball because they did say update for Golden Saucer. It could be Blitzball, so, but we don't know yet. It could yet. still be Blitzball. Yeah. But we don't know yet. That's why I don't want to give it to Blitzball, because we, yeah. we don't have the confirmation. Uh, no, but no, this one does come closer, which is funny, because this is one that they, like, farted out, like, a little bit before, like, about an hour, like, half an, like, an hour and a half before the, the letter. So this is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, no bingo though. The benchmark. The benchmark is going to be very important. Yes. Yeah. Because I, I'm looking at the, the current recommended stats, 
and they are literally now the minimum stat requirements, basically. Yeah, so... Hold on, let me... So that's going to be important for a lot of people. Yeah. I'm already below current minimum. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so the minimum was this, which is... Yeah. I'm I'm above the minimum. So, okay. do you want me to just read off the like the the current recommended, and then we can go down the list? Uh, yeah, sure, by all means. Windows ten, uh -huh. or Windows eleven. Yeah. I seven Intel. Uh huh. I seven Intel. Eight gig memory. Eight gig memory. I have like thirty two. Oh, eighty gigabytes or more di hard disk space available. I have more than <laughs> enough. That's doubled. Yep. Makes sense. Um, Higher quality graphics and stuff. 1980 by or 1920 by 1080. <coughs> yep. Um. And then yeah, DirectX 11. DirectX yeah. 11, yeah. Yeah, um, and then the mm -hmm. GTX 970 or higher. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, the minimum. The recommend oh, okay, so I'm below the recommended, but I'm above the actual minimum. Yeah, that are that are here on the li on the on the keynote. Yeah, so you should be okay. Oh yeah, no, I should be fine. I just can't because the recommended system requirements are just to run like what the stand the mo the standard highest settings, right? <coughs> the recommended is usually for the highest settings. Let me. I don't know how I don't know how minimum and recommended hey. works when it comes to games. I'm kind of stupid in that aspect. I think I'm alright with these. I should be. F I should be fine. I should be able to run. I should be able to run the game. It. Sh I just have to go back to laptop graphics, <laughs> which I don't care. As long as my, as long as my enhancements work, I don't care. Yeah, they don't give details about whether recommended is like medium level graphics or high level graphics. Yeah, I might. My, my, my usual... assumption is it is medium. My, see, my usual assumption is that it's between medium and high, because normally when they show you the graphical updates, they show you at their best what they what they expect you to be able to run. Like mm -hmm. if you were if you were like, again, it's like this is th th they want the best graphics to represent their game. So because of that, the recommended are usually so you can achieve what they're showing off. But if you don't have um, the recommended you can still be able to run the game. It's just at a lower setting. <laughs> That's always how I've assumed it. Yeah, so it's I like, mean, e so if you don't have recommended, you just can't run the game as pretty as what they've shown off. But as long as you meet the minimum, you're still going to still, you're still going to have a pretty aesthetic game, just not as nice and shiny as, as, a uh, as what they showed off. I always thought recommended was default settings. That is fair, but again, most games, the reason I say this, most games, whenever I run them, before I fuck with the graphical settings, they're all on high. They're all, games by default on are on the GDX 660, <coughs> and I can run at minimum settings with basically every bell and whistle disabled. Yeah, because that's the thing too, like, when I hear recommended, I'm, I, I'm, I'm expecting at its highest settings. Because every game I ever play, before I, before I fuck with anything, it's on its highest settings. And that's where I that's where I have to fuck with shit. <coughs> Minimum is congratulations. You can play the game. Recommended is congratulations. You can play the game at its highest setting and still not have a burning computer and your computer will still work. So that that's yeah. that's what I think it is when I see recommended. I find minimum usually means you can run the game at medium settings. Mm. Mm. No, and that's a fair one. Uh, either way, if this is going to be the new minimum requirements, then yeah, by all means, I meet it. Um, at the highest settings, I never run games at their highest setting. I just, I just don't. So that should be fine. And then whenever I upgrade to like a fully built PC where I'm going to be running a 30 something or even a 40 something graphics card, then even more, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine. <laughs> and something to keep in mind for the laptop gamers in chat is these mm -hmm. are going to be slightly different for you because laptop tech isn't as good as standalone yeah. PC hardware. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this if you have a laptop. 
yeah, your lap, the laptop, you're, you're not hitting recommended. You're just not, you're going to hit minimum. You're not going to hit recommended. Most laptops, that's just how it is. They processors, graphic cards, all that shit. They get too hot for a laptop. And that's, and that's the crutch when it comes to these like computer parts, it's heat and laptops, especially one of the reasons they have like no fucking lifespan is because they just generate too much heat. They don't have cooling. They're not meant to be running things like this that generate um, such a high temperature. Um, they're just not. So like a gaming laptop, while they will be very good, they never truly last longer than maybe three to four years unless yeah. they're barely used. Unless, like you can, you can extend the lifespan of these laptops if you run everything relatively low. If you get a gaming laptop and run everything at its highest, you're, you're chucking that shit in three years. It's not meant for it. Fully built PC. <coughs> you're looking at a decade, decade and a half. If you if you if you run it if you run at modest settings, yeah. If you're future proofing it, yeah. Yeah. If you run at modest settings and you future proof, then yes. You will you will get about maybe about a decade. But even now, computer parts to run them at their quote unquote peak, um, they're only gonna last you four or five years. Like that's just gonna be yeah. The RTX 2060 the laptop has... should be able to run it. <laughs> Not ideal, but it should allow me the capacity. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, luckily, since that. computer parts are kind of future proof, like for for like a good like five years, if you get like an R RTX like 2060 now, you'll be good for yeah. I pr a um, hot minute. I have a friend At who has least, a... like three or four years <laughs> i have a friend who has a laptop with high-end parts and went out to get a separate cooler and has it practically flowing on his desk mm. why don't you just get a pc <laughs> yeah so i run i run a pc setup and basically yeah. what i do is i have mine lofted mm -hmm. so i have mine on a stand and yeah. i always have it on performance mode and it Sounds like it's dying at all times, but it runs. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to run at lower settings to make stuff more smooth. And yeah, and that's also why I kind of <coughs> like because <coughs> if 14 has if no, if 14 is notorious for optimization issues, I would definitely still want to run it at the somewhat lower end. <coughs> and then tell my computer, tell my graphics card specifically to limit the frame rate. That's something I can do with NVIDIA. That's what I had to do to fucking run near Automata because Squeenix sucks at optimizing their games like at all, especially their fucking ports. I had to tell <laughs> my goddamn computer that, hey, near Automata can't go past 40, 49 frames a second or I'm going to die. Can you do that? Say no more, chief. And, that, and that's why I was able to continue streaming Automata. Before I knew that you could even fucking do that, it would just my my streams were a slideshow when playing Automata. So <clears throat> I I also have this computer doing the same with 14 just because I want the consistency. Um because again it's it's the same thing with 14. Yeah. Sometimes it just it decides it wants to do a bajillion frames a second for like five minutes, and then suddenly I'm at 20 frames when someone decides to cast holy five thousand times. It's like, oh well thanks. So it's just easier to also manually limit the frame rate because you can't do that i think with 14 you can't go in the thing and limit the frame rate that's, that's not an option mm. so you can yeah you can change your you can change your fps but okay. like i run on a hard i run on a hard 30 because no, I, I i raid and i still sometimes get lag when i raid when i stream you yeah, know i am um... a problem i uh for again i went into my graphics card settings and i did that I think it was a. Uh, was it control panel? I don't even remember how I did it anymore. I don't remember how the fuck I did it. Um, actually, wait. Yeah, no, it was NVIDIA control panel. And then it was. Uh, configure sound FX. There was some way to do it. And then I had to like. Manage 3D settings. Performance, quality, change resolution, you can do that. Uh, desktop size, G-Sync, multiple displays. I can't remember where, but I did it through here, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Global settings, program yeah. settings. I would like to use the following 3D settings. Is that how yeah, I did it? 
remember. unfortunate when it comes to like FF in particular. Mm -hmm. Unless they want to rewrite all of the spaghetti go that the program was built on during the one year of downtime that existed, mm -hmm. um, they're just not going to be able to fix all the problems. No, and let me let me tell you, coding problems as complex as what it sounds like with the spaghetti code, they would need to take like a year or two or five off of dev completely fix. Yeah, they would have to rebuild the system straight from the ground up. Yeah. As well as implement all the new changes. Thanks, <laughs> smiley face. Oh God, when I don't expect they'll. I don't expect they'll ever fix it. No. How did I do it? Mm. Maybe it wasn't through this. How did I? How did I change the frame rate for things? Oh shit. Um, if you go to, I think it's system <clears throat> configuration and scroll to the right. bottom. It should be the one where you like are seeing your. Oh, I guess system configuration. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Try scrolling I don't think... to the bottom. It should be like your display settings. And if you scroll to the bottom there, it'll have like FPS that you can change. Oh, my God. System control panel. I do not remember how I did it. System display. Mm -hmm. Graphics settings. Browse. No, that's not how I did it. Hardware accelerate GPU. No. <clears throat> Hold on. It's like, I think my main modder is like 1440 hertz, but I do not run it at 1440 hertz. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or not 1440, 144 or whatever. <laughs> my, oh God, my main monitor can go 14. Actually, no, both of them can go 1440. Because I use, I use for an LG monitor. For an LG uh, television. No, it's my it second monitor. There. It sucked. Okay. If you're looking for refresh rate stuff, that's an advanced for display. Mm -mm. I, found, I found that. Bizarre. No, I remember. I remember what it looked like. I just don't remember how I got to it. <laughs> That's such a mood. Ah, uh, it's gonna bother me. Um, let me see. Updating computer settings is literally like the uh oh. How do I get back there? <laughs> yeah. Like. Mm. <clears throat> It's that thing of if I see it, I'm going to immediately remember. I just have to see it. It's something that you can do, like, within Windows, I'm pretty fucking sure. What the fuck is Reva Turner? No, I didn't have to do shit. Okay, it's... Oh, it, okay, might have been that way. Okay, so wait. Control panel. Manage 3D settings. <coughs> Program settings. And then... Oh, yeah. It was like this. Okay, yeah. You go to manage 3D settings. And then you go to program. And you got to find the program. If you can't find it on the list, you got to, like, look for it. And then it'll it'll show all its thingy-mabobs. It oh. And then you go maximum max frame rate. And, um... And yeah, I have it. I have it to this, the fifty-eight FPS, and then I apply it, and then that's it. Yeah, a definite upside to console play is not having to worry about oh, all this optimization the PC that. players have to. <clears throat> yeah. 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 We got to do a lot of like dumb shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, you can do it straight to the Nvidia control panel. I just completely forgot. That's right. But also, but but also, my PS5 when I turn it on for some reason, things Bluetooth headphones are always connected to it, and I have to go change the setting. We just oh. figured out how to change that. Uh, <laughs> it was just randomly connecting to something we own. We couldn't figure out what it was. Alrighty. Let me. Refresh this one more time. Uh, okay.
Twitch activity feed. I don't like how that one looks though. Let me add a custom doc. What does it look like? Oh, it just looks the same. Way. Oh, okay, it just works that way. Ah. <clears throat> wow. Alrighty. I'm gonna hope that's gonna re that when that reloads, it's a bit better. Okay, looks like so. During all of that, I was actually able to fix my alerts. Um, so we'll see how hey. those start working from now on. Um, and pretty much, I've limited the stream elements alerts to just merch, uh, to 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 just merch purchases. Which buy my merch. No. <laughs> sure. Which while we're here, buy, buy my, my merch. merch. <laughs> but um. We'll see. We'll see huh. how that works going forward. <coughs> um, now, now it's funny because like I was using Stream Elements, and Stream Elements had like their own little activity feed, which looks nice and freaking clean. And if you miss an alert, you can replay it, and I really like that. But uh, <laughs> I can I can I can do that through the Creator Dashboard on Twitch. But I'm hoping that the doc on that I have for OBS, which is just the activity feed, just a pop-up that you can put in there um it's the same it's the exact same i'll see if hopefully that works later on but yeah hopefully my my alerts should stop being fucking trash garbage trash god damn it stream elements you suck okay. it is what it is and it just means i have a bunch of fucking alert sources um no big deal but freaking hell yeah i'm looking forward to freaking new expansion I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't think I'm gonna be. I I'm, I want to see how many from Hrothgars there end up being now. How many people are gonna Fantasia to freaking Cat Mom? Um, a lot of people, I'm sure. Usually, I didn't understand most of it, but I sure am excited. Yeah. Usually, you can kind of like guess what <coughs> subset of the player base is gonna change to it because, like, that's harder. That's harder with female Hrothgar to know who exactly. Mm -hmm. I will say this. I do like the Pictomancer uh kind of thing going on. That looks that looks sick as fuck. Mm, yeah. I yeah, I do think the the free Fantasia was kind of needed with the the graphic update to the bare minimum. So I'm I'm really happy that they're actually going through with that. Yeah. Let's see. Did they put the actual just trailer itself up on YouTube now? Let's see. Cuz sometimes after they show it, <laughs> they they release it. Yeah, full trailer, full five minute trailer. So yeah, so it went from one minute to like three minutes. So now we have the full one. Do we want to watch the trailer again? Oh uh, sure. I mean, I'm yeah. down. I'm down to watch the new trailer again. Probably in nicer quality now that we're not limited to the, like whatever the live stream was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can because the live stream even even when I, even when I put it in higher definition, it was like I'm still blurry and it's like oh. Yeah. Okay. Even at its most, the live stream still looks a little crusty. It's gonna still look crusty, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I want to see the new Pretty Hrothgal lady. They do have the trailer for that, so we can watch that too, and we can watch the Pictomancer again. There we go. Queen. Clear skies and boundless possibilities. I love it. From the shores, you can see the square unit for the third round. In the <coughs> I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? Bunny. We get it, Square. Now make another movie. Those guys look sick as fuck. They're like, they look like sharks. I remember they're sharks. No, they're not. They're 
the meme with him and the goddamn nutkin. Yeah. They fixed Rianjay's face. I'm happy. I have an alt named Thickred Waters and he has the nutkin <laughs> for his adventure plate. <coughs> Thickred. He's on Genova. If you ever see him, that's me. Nice. <laughs> that really is just about. Yeah, no. Just more freaking meteor being hot. Yep. Thought him in the squirrel would help him get more women. Nope. Look at his little tail wibble! Yeah. And then this shit with the fucking cool one today. Yeah. They did cryo really well. Look at in this how style. Yeah. Fucking cool that is. Everybody's shot. I will say, the glam opportunities for Pictomancer for weapons oh, yeah. are going to be really cool. Yeah. He's cast real. He looks real good. I'm so excited to see more weapons for them. I'm excited to discover more stuff about this world. I think what's really yeah. good, too, with Pictomancer that's kind of fitting is that because with the whole graphical update with textures and everything, the game can hopefully look so much more vibrant and colorful. I hope it does, because... Yeah. Honestly, if they can make, like, all the things that people talk about for modding obsolete, that'd be like... Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Lily's gonna be so happy to know that Alphano didn't change at fucking all. <coughs> it was a whole <laughs> meme about I'm fucking Talfano. There was so many memes about Talfano. And then more Bunny Man. I, I find his voice hilarious. We are Aaron Will's fan. No, she this looks is so the part. beautiful. No, I love this is the really part good. where everybody shat themselves. I'm sorry. I hadn't made that parallel yet. That's really good. <laughs> I am so fucking excited for Doctor. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. I cannot wait to teach these people what Dark Knights are. <laughs> Listen, I can't wait <coughs> to be a dumbass Reaper again to more people. I just leveled up to 36. <laughs> Maybe I'll get higher by the time the oh. comes out. Alrighty. Here's <laughs> let's 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 look at let's look at Cat Mom trailer. Cat moms. <laughs> The MSQ is like probably 150-200 hours. 
It's not as big as a rugged, and I'd be disappointed. I'm gonna look, see if I can find the thing of the legs. Yeah, they look great. Their starting gear is really, really pretty. Yeah. Does it look oh, yeah. I can already see modders trying to get that for other races. I want it. Their run cycle looks like a male rock, but smooth it out so it doesn't look as goofy. Yeah. yeah. So I've always believed that the issue with male aura in their run is that they made the step too big for how slow the base run speed is. But they yeah. they did it good here. Can we just pause on the still of the three ladies? Yeah, one sec. Uh, I want to observe them. We want to perceive them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they all look great. The face markings on the one on the right are really pretty. The one on the left uh, looks kind of neat. Yeah. We got that albino line thing, like kind of albino, but it's still got that hint of blue. Yeah. The variations in the nose shapes are actually really, really nice, too. Yeah. And like the I eye shapes, that too. Until you point that out. And the, and the ears have, there's three different ear types. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's kind of face types, so like you've got here like your lion, then you've got here kind of like your more like leopard, <coughs> kind of like longer frontal nose, mm -hmm. and then you have more like a nose nose, like this looks more like a person nose, yeah, than a cat nose. I just realized their fucking outfit has like zippers on the sides and like yeah, no, the they've got little zip? they've got like little hip sh like hip window zippers on both sides. Why no, their outfits zippers? are their outfits are very nice. Yeah. Like where's there we go. That's a nice frontal look. No, the the yeah. outfit is great. The fur, the fur looks way more intense on these models than it did on the male one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, I think that's why also with like the males they're gonna polish up the mm -hmm. the thing. So that like <coughs> they they look more fluffy. I'm trying to find here we go. Uh, well, that's one thing of the legs. I love the, like, extra mm -hmm. details in the face of the eyebrow area. So nice. Let's see, I'm trying to... I'm trying oh. to find, like, a good <laughs> picture of the Fem Hroth legs. Okay, I just bookmarked one. So let's see if I can... Let's see if fucking twatter will show me shit. Let me let me just very quickly, just in case my, my fucking shit shows me something I don't need to see. <laughs> okay, good. Um Alrighty. So no, I can I can do this. Um the fuck? Just give me the post. There we go. Um so this is the, these are the legs that I kept that um went around. Mm -hmm. cool. Um and then again like again for scale this is a this is a fe um a femro. Now it's a bit hard to find anything on Twitter. And I'm kind of scared low key sometimes to browse Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's an, it's an instant instant like I, I wish I had bookmarked the post that showed like the the freaking femgar legs, what people were assuming were the femgar legs, next to all the races. <coughs> I will say, I like that the first two Twitter posts were just big bitty fem Roth guards. Yeah, yeah, no, I. That's why I was like, man, I'm, I'm really just not gonna be I able find to be. It funny that they go for the meme here. Yeah. yeah. I'm I can't find the other post. I'm I'm looking for it. I don't know if I liked it or if I like. 
But I remember there was a post where somebody put like the legs by every race. And again, those hips, that that waistline right there, that was one to one with a male aura. <coughs> that was almost one to one with a male aura. And I was like, oh, shit, these ladies going to be tall. Yeah, I actually wouldn't be surprised if they're taller than the male counterparts. Yeah. People were looking at the feet specifically and going to be like, they're just going to be fluffier cat girls. And some people were already disappointed, but it's like you only have the legs. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. Apparently somebody cosplayed the legs. Um, for fan fest, I'm 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 trying to find this post while while we look at this one. But again, like it's now that we've seen the character in the Dawn Trail thing, it's like yeah, no, these are her legs. Um, let's see. Let me just put fourteen legs, Dawn Trail. Also, that is a wide core. You can easily tell just in this image that they're going to be muscle mummies. Yeah, it's gonna be funny if they have an ab slider. <laughs> I just sent a meme. <laughs> yeah. uh, a Twitter meme. It's just Dante from DMC5. Oh my god, I can't find any more. I should play that now that I have a controller. I yeah, because I guess I guess like the data miners and modders found these legs. Re and like recently. So it's like that's what people were losing their shit about. Like, some people were also modding, just playing the legs. Ah, oh, God. Okay, hold on. Races. Nope. I don't know where this post is. I, I'm, an, I'm a dumb dumb. I, I should have saved them. Because even, like, in popular posts, I'm not finding them. Minimum on the ab slider is just already shredded. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Let's see. No. Uh... I'm sending more memes. Huh. <laughs> no. Let's see. <laughs> I'm sad that I can't find that post. I'm sad that I can't find that post. Uh, there's just too many things on Twitter, and it's like it's so hard to find it. It was definitely a couple days ago. Are you gonna say Zara? Uh, so apparently at the end show, one of the one of the people from the team was wearing a shirt drawn by his daughter. And I Aww. just sent that wholesomeness. And then people joking, the Pictomancer drew that. Very cute. Hey. Oh, it's this one. I've sent a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> my, my Twitter timeline is popping. All the AFK AFKers moving to Solution 9. Gun it is a perfect heart. image of pandemonium. Let's see. It totally didn't take me half a second to realize what I'm looking at. Let's see. Huh. Yeah, I don't think anything after the keynote uh, can be co-streamed, unfortunately. That's why I'm also not showing the rest of it. Um, now I'm just trying to find the post. But I did not like it, apparently. And it's freaking far away. Uh, if yeah. I go back to my no, bookmarks... Uh, no, yeah, so... How the female rough girl look. Twitter, Twitter our timeline's gonna be exploding okay. with fucking... Someone apparently cosplayed the legs. Like, just the legs. <laughs> Where it's like, I guess they wore the top part was like green screen. And then they green screened like this so that the top of the part it says to be continued. That's really funny. Yeah. Let's 
see. Like, I would... No. Nah. It's freaking lost to the ether. Rip. I'm getting like way, way too far ago. Uh, let's see. Let me look up. Um, legs. Some people are like, I wish they showed us the Fem Hrothgar in the new graphical update. And for the old model, they just showed the unfinished pair of legs. It's like, yeah. that was an hour ago, and it's like, yeah, they, they showed us enough. It would have been funny, though. <clears throat> yeah, no, I can't find it. Oh, well. <coughs> Alrighty. And then we've got the Hemking Pictomancer. What? Yeah, closing. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that outfit's just really fucking cute. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. The dogs, the the, the barrel tender. cute <laughs> yeah it is again i don't think i would play it <clears throat> but it looks it looks like a really cute class and i like that they're utilizing cryo for it because unfortunately again yeah. it's like for those complaining that like oh your stole is gonna get shafted again for another another freaking expansion one i don't care two they've done sure. nothing with cryo absolutely nothing with cryo they she's only oh. been like uh, uh like up up she's been she's been somewhat prominent in like in like some things <laughs> but she was mostly kind of around in shadow bringers taking care of everybody while they were comatose and then yeah, she and was Walker just as being our in into Charlian. <laughs> yeah and she was our in into Charlian, and then that one scene where she was like highland's voice box for like a minute uh, like yeah, that was mm -hmm. it she was just another person that had the echo and you know, was just around because Menphilio was gone. And, like, they didn't do anything with her. So now that they're actually, like, especially with the note from, that was her grandfather's that's saying, like, go to Tural, it's just like, yeah, no, I want I want Kryle to be more important than this. I want to see more Kryle. I don't... Yostola gets enough attention. Like, and I honestly... I, it, honestly, like... I, I, I can't say that she's had quote unquote character arcs. She hasn't really gone through any real character changes. She's still pretty similar to how she was in the very beginning. She's just blind now. Um, I, I, she doesn't need to go through a character arc. She's fine. She's fine. Mm -hmm. Like when people say character arc, they're meaning like, Something like what Urianje went through, or something that whatever like Thancred went through. Although Thancred honestly just went through a midlife crisis, like that—that yeah. that was Thancred's character arc. Um, There's still a lot of things already said. She doesn't need like a, a character. No. she's been going through stuff. Love, she's I like, love, I love, yeah, no. I love, I she's 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 had her she's had her dips into like you know in Shadowbringers wanting to like you know help the the great the great wood. And then, like, her interest in traveling to New Worlds. Yostola's thing is that she always wants to know what's going on and what yeah. happens behind the curtain. She always wants to learn more and more. And that's pretty much it. That's been kind of her. Sorry, guys. And that's fine. But, um... It's... Lynn posted meme. Also, yet, yeah, Yostola <clears throat> has gotten plenty of arcs. She's just not your wife. Deal with it. Yeah, it just seems like people want, just want their what want a, a a thing where she's like all over people. Okay, why does it just? 
instead of I didn't I just wanted to go to the fucking meme. Alrighty. <clears throat> Chance of implementation, human likeness, less online character arc. Yeah, so far it seems like we've got more the middle than either side. Hmm. Which again, I'm fine with what we're getting. It looks nice. <coughs> Honestly, a lot of like fem um femgar like art that we've been getting, I've been kind of it's funny cuz these two are by the same artist, but we've been we're getting more of the closer to the left than the right. Yeah, no, we're 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 we're, we're I I'd say we're closest to the middle. But like, yeah, we're we're closer to these two, way more than this one. Like they 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 gave us furry, they gave I'm, us furry. I'm so happy. I think they did them good. Yeah, no, I think they did them well. I think they yeah, did no, fine. The race looks pretty good. I think they did fine. Anyone? I I feel like anyone at this point who has to complain about them is at this point. I think just if they're asking for too much, and they're <laughs> never gonna be pleased. Because there are people like that. They're never going to be pleased. Like, I was in the bathroom and they were going over the Pictomancer stuff. And I was looking at the chat and some people were like, it's too colorful. It's too colorful. It doesn't fit. And it's just like, shut up. <laughs> no, yes, just make the game, the whole game more colorful. <laughs> like, I think it'll be, I think it's going to look really, really pretty. I don't think yeah. it should fit in with the other ones. It's you know? literally the artist class. Shut up, that's the point. Yeah, like, they were like, oh, the, like, I saw some people complaining about the particles were, like, just too colorful and, like, stuck stuck out too much. And it's like, it's magic. It's magic. It's the artist class. Shut up. Stop <laughs> pretending to be upset. Like, they're giving you what you want. Shut up. <laughs> it not fitting in is the entire idea. Like, if it um, fit in, it wouldn't be new and shit. interesting. Like, mm -hmm. Um, someone mentioned earlier in chat where it was like they only they like they care like what they're wondering about is like the the Hrothgar and and Viera hats because <clears throat> let's be real the Fem Hrothgar are probably also gonna have the issue with like good luck wearing not being able to wear like two thirds of the hats in the game and this is something where <clears throat> um I I like how long have Viera been out in general five years now Thanks. like when did Shadowbringers come out. While y'all figure this out, I actually gotta go drink. I'm really thirsty. So. Let me... Shadowbringers release date was, yeah, July 2nd, 2019. So, it's been a bit. I remember because of the Tom Holland commercial, 2019 with Shadowbringers. Okay, so it's it's going over over f about four years now, about going to be five years sometime this year. Okay, so it's been about five years now, and I think this comes back to something that Zara said earlier. If they took the time to fix all the co all the all the issues, that was me. Um. If they took the time to fix all of the issues, they'd probably have to pause development for a bit and people wouldn't want that either. What they should honestly be doing is like what um, Zara also mentioned. <clears throat> they should start working with modders. They should start working with some modders to get them to fix up the hats for, for Vieira and Hrothgar. And then that way they can implement them to the game without... Um, without compromising any of the developer's time. Just hire some, just hire some, some modders. Get, find you some good-ass modders. You contact them, be like, hey, we got an opportunity for you. We got an opportunity. Yeah, they could be freelance workers. Get some freelancers. <clears throat> Here's be like, hey. the thing, hmm? too. Like, modders would love to actually work with them, too. I can, like, mm. guarantee you that Oh yeah. Any modders would be like, oh my god, like they want to work with me because I like my work oh, so much. Oh, oh, yes. Like <laughs> it would no be modder would honor. be mad about being reached out to yeah. like that. 
like they they kind of already do in a way when they when they do these like hair contests and outfit contests and weapons contests that gets contests. difficult in terms of international freelance stuff though yet oh no they would probably they would probably stick to local modders but here's the thing when it comes to international because of like the age of the internet and everything it's so much easier now for them to hire international freelancers the anime industry already does that i know people that work in the animation industry that have done work for anime in japan that live here in canada yeah there's so, a, there's like a ton of people that they do that with so they could it, it's not impossible and i don't know how hard it would be but it's not impossible and even then there's a big modding community probably ju probably a good modding community in japan as well they could easily just bring some of them on as freelance work and be like, here's your job. Fix the hats. I mean, honestly, it's as easy as like, do they have a branch in the country? Yeah. That you're asking the freelancers to like work from. Yeah. That's all you, that's, I think that's all you really need. Yeah. So it's that thing where, and I think they can do it internationally since they can even do it virtually. Yeah. It would be remote work. It would be remote. It would be remote. The only thing they would have to worry about is someone fucking leaking the information. Mm -hmm. But that's that's fine. That's what NDAs and shit are for. Like. And they do that already with like the contests as well, that entrants aren't supposed to talk about their entries until the results of the contest are revealed or they'll be disqualified. It's it's a sim it'd be a similar NDA. And that's that thing on top of that, too. Mm -hmm. That would be so good for so many people's resumes. And like 3D modeling and stuff that they've worked for Square, Square Enix. It'd be, I, I, I don't know how truly easy it would be to, to figure it out. But I don't think it's not worth looking into. Just because with the hairstyles and the, the hats, there's already several modders that have fixed it. For certain, like modders that have wanted certain hats for their characters. They've already fixed it. Now it's just bring some of these people on. Tell them to fix the rest, pay them for it, and then just throw it, just throw it into the game. Done. You don't, you don't, you don't have to take away from your developers. You don't have to take away from anybody on the team that's working on the game because you just bring a couple side, some, just a couple freelancers in to do it for you. Also, um, to the question of like why they probably don't have Vieira hats in, my guess uh, would be that it's because of the placement of the ears. Some hats specifically have places for, like, ears to go through. Mm -hmm. um, versus, they don't understand that the Final Fantasy community would be literally fine if it clipped through the hat. Oh, yeah, no. And you just removed the ear hole placement area. Like, <laughs> granted, most for... people who play Final Fantasy don't care about clipping. Yeah, grant an NDA for a game that is someone's life isn't hard to enforce. Like, you leak, you lose your account is the fear of God and even stop the riskiest of bitches. Well, it's... Here's the thing. I, I don't think it would go as far as to, like, lose their account. Because that'd be not, well, that wouldn't be fair. Because the, the account is something they go out of their way to pay for and time and shit. That'd be too, that'd be too much. It's just... Because, again, when it comes to NDAs, you break an NDA, legal action. Before any actual punishment, legal action, first and foremost. That's already enough to stop people from doing that shit. The moment they find, and, and nowadays, it's so easy to find out who leaked what. And, and, and it, like, it's, so, just the, just the NDA in and of itself should be more than enough. I don't think it needs to go any, any further than that. Oh, so with hats, you're including helms and masks and shit. Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, most, most masks, um, there are some helms and then some masks. Most masks, I think. The, the, the hat options that are masks and eyeglasses and shit, Viera and Hrothgar can wear just fine. <coughs> yeah. It's they're actual like, just hats. Yeah, they're like quote-unquote solution has been that they've just been adding a lot of circlets to the games and not adding actual hats from just like from what I've seen. Which... And then they like... It seems like the ones with the working hats just go to the box station. It's it, it's a thing of like, and here's my beef. Because if they are going with the angle of just, oh, we'll just make less hats. It's like, no, that's not the solution. That's just making it everyone's problem now. 
that's and then and then like now it's like the new the newest glam in the mog station people are complaining that oh now it's an now they're giving us an incomplete outfit because it doesn't have a hat and that's where i'm just like y'all y'all need to shut up because it's just people will complain to complain and i i can't stand it um so the new outfit set is the woodland warden it's cute some people are like some people are like, here's my Dawn Trail outfit. And yeah, it's cute. Um, it's uh, it's dyeable. Um, with the new channels, it's, that white part's probably going to be dyeable. <coughs> it's cute. You can wear the breeches or you can wear the skirt. I love those leggings. I, it's probably, if I do buy this outfit, it's probably for the leggings. I live for them. They are very, very cute. There's not that many... I like I, 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 I like thigh highs and there are some ver- there's already some really cute thigh highs in the game, but <clears throat> I'm I'm always down for more cute thigh highs where then I can wear like cute little booties, like more white ones, please. Yes. Um, skirt gives me uh, three houses vibes. Yes, I can actually see that, Eclair. And then uh, excuse me, those booties. Cute. Those boots are cute. Um, now. <clears throat> Yeah, so breeches, skirt. I like that they give you both. And on top of that, they don't gender them. So like, so the skirt, the men can wear the skirt. The girls can wear the breeches. That's great. That's great. They don't show like an example. I don't know why, but they're not. If you look here at the at the item stuff, they're not female. They're not male only, female only. You can wear whichever one you want. And I'm down for that. I know some people are like, oh, they should make some like some clothes because you know how like there's some clothing outfits where when the girl wears them, it's a cute skirt and leggings. And when the guy wears them, it's a pair of pants. And there's some where it's still just the one item and you can't really do anything about it. But I like that they're going this this route right now. It's a start where they just give you both and you just choose. (coughs) I like that. It's a start. Yeah. Now, my only thing, and this is the this is the 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 complaint that I do partially agree with is for the price, it should be account wide. It should not be character only. And that's something that is still an issue with the glams in the in these things. If I buy this, I can only either give it to Polo or give it to Trin. I can't have it on both. And if I'm and again, this is USD. If I go to Canadian yeah. price, that's like 20 something dollars, or maybe almost like 25, 26 dollars for an outfit that I can only use on one character. And yeah, I do agree. These should start being account wide because now a glam is starting to cost as much as a mount. And, an, and the more expensive mounts are account wide. So why, why not do that with the. Huh? <laughs> You're talking about absurd pricing? I had to yeah. take my dog off a walk. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm talking about right now, the pricing of certain things. So, like, again, right. right here it says single character. So if you have oh. multiple characters on one account, pick one, because you can't put it on all of them. And that kind of sucks. Wow, um, yeah, no, it is, it is kind of bullshit. <clears throat> right yeah, now there's so a fan... Have, hmm? If you have three alts and you want that outfit, you're spending $50. Yes, yeah, pretty much. And that's... Especially for stuff that was initially free. Well, okay, so the Heaven's Turn attire, yeah. This was last year's uh, seasonal. This was last year's uh, seasonal event for Lunar New Year. And, I mean, I don't really care for the outfit, but it's cute. It's cute. And it's, it's kind of like a, <clears throat> like a, <coughs> like a kind of like Samurai, Samurai Lord, Lord kind of look. Yeah, no, really cute. Obviously, it's five dollars because it used to be um, <coughs> an in-game event item. If you were there at the time it was happening, you got it for free just for doing the little the little dinky event. If you want to buy it, single character. Yeah, you have to buy it multiple times if you have multiple characters. That sucks. Um, Honestly, they should I just have two. they yeah. should just keep the events around more regularly, or just like if you're gonna make you someone pay for content that used to be in free in game make it like a dollar yeah i don't like five dollars for something that was Uh, free is like that's technically a third of your subscription you're technically already paying for it but um but yeah and then this is another recent glam 
that came out that again very nice glam very nice <coughs> boots are really nice coats really nice it's a very nice glam $18 I'm sorry single character $18 that's kind of crazy I'm sorry let me just uh I can I can still keep it up for 14 why not um <coughs> uh yeah and this is the only thing that keeps me from buying a lot of like glams that i would probably have no issue getting they're, they're too expensive freaking alizé's attire i would have loved those fucking boots i would have loved those fucking boots the thing that pisses me off about mpc attire first off you can't dye it <coughs> that's bullshit enough second off this shit's one fucking piece <laughs> oh no! Words cannot express how sad I was when I found out that I could not just have the yeah, Gaia boots. All or nothing, and it's really stupid. I hate it. I hate it that it's all or nothing. I hate it. So many people were happy when this came out, and then immediately freaking went to dog shit when they saw it was all or nothing. Also, yeah. single character. So yeah, you only get the, you get the hairstyle. <laughs> Which is honestly just flipped alphano and a, and a recolor ribbon. It's not different. And then, yeah. It cannot, if you look on the details, cannot equip with arm, leg, or foot gear. It just takes over. And I hate that. It means you can't mix or match. You can't cust you, it just, you're, you just, you throw away customization to look like Alize. And I, I get the idea that it's like, well, it's NPC attire. It's like cosplaying the character. I don't care. I want the boots. The last time we had NPC attire that was in multiple parts because I do not I don't count Ice Heart was Reen. Wow. <clears throat> Reen. The, <laughs> the fact that Reen had separate pieces and Gaia did not was so that, so weird. That pissed me off. What pissed me off even more? <clears throat> um because this is what they do uh, sometimes with with um this is what they do sometimes with with NPC attire too. They come with a hairstyle. Gaia's does not. Gaia's does not. Also, here's another issue with Gaia's attire. Now, I'm going to go back to Alize. Single character, includes hairstyle. Gaia. Women only. Women. Women only. Let me rock the thigh high. Now, here's, <laughs> now here's the issue. There was, there was a controversy that I, that, I, that I read about when this came out, because a lot of people were pissed. People were pissed because it was still $12 for mm. a complete one piece outfit. Um, it was, it's, so it's one piece. It's gender locked. You can't dye it. No hairstyle. And on top of that, and you couldn't really notice it with most skin tones, it was generally safe. But with more out there skin tones and even darker than this Mikote here skin tone. The legs wouldn't reflect. The legs would be considerably lighter. The legs only went up to a certain skin tone. <coughs> if you had a more greenish skin tone, a more blue or a more red skin tone, if essentially if you had any weirder, more out there skin tone, the legs didn't truly reflect it. Hi, Timless. How are we doing? <laughs> something else bad that i think they specifically did with gaia too is they didn't include the weapon they added the weapon later mm -hmm. and then they sold the weapon separate separately yeah so you could you could do the pack for all of them but is there an issue with the uh don't what am i what am i supposed well to you know you can't you can't see it here people yeah. only learned about it later on when they tried it on their characters characters that had red skin or green skin or things like that uh -huh. um so I don't have the things, but I saw enough of them where like if there if this character was a dark, was a, a deeper color, the legs were like a couple shades off. Oh, Ooh. is that supposed to be lace? It's supposed to be like lace. It's supposed to be like a oh, lacy fishnet. OK, OK. I and can't tell. <clears throat> okay. and the problem is so I then guess. what some people were assuming <laughs> what they were doing. And it's hard to argue this when you look at the Lala fell in the row, <clears throat> but it's understandable if it is the case. Where all they really did with the Gaia outfit is the reason it's a one piece 
is because it's not like other outfit sets where it's a piece of outfit going onto your character. It just replaces the character's body. It just replaces the character. It's just a, it, you're not paying for a, a material. You're not paying for essentially quote unquote, the 3d materials you're paying for a body swap. <laughs> I did send, I did send in the chat. Okay. If you want to pull it up, the picture that shows the skin tone issue that they had. Yes. Here we go. This is the perfect example. All right, cool. So here, look at the skin of the Viera, and then look at the legs. Oh. Several shades lighter. It's very noticeable. When it's supposed to be <clears throat> transparent fishnets. Yeah, it's supposed to be transparent fishnet. Oh, okay. So, Cause I know that's not some... good. Okay, because I know there's some <clears throat> out there that have like I don't know. No, never mind. Never mind. I can't. Maybe I'm. I'm just. I'm not thinking. No, it, the okay. point is, is no, that it's yeah. meant to be fishnet. It's supposed to be see through. Okay. okay, I got you. Now again, it doesn't reflect with most, but and that's and this is the kind of thing that further alludes to this being a body swap, as in. From like this point of the neck down, it's just a new body mesh. <coughs> I don't know if it was confirmed by modders or data miners. I don't know, but that's what if if unless it's been proven, I think that's what the case is with these one pieces. It's a body swap, and it's a similar case with Alize. Um, they just decided to do it for men too for some reason. Um. Um, then there's the Omega stuff, which it's not gen locked anymore. <clears throat> so now men can wear the, uh, Omega F and girls can wear the Omega M, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, even Alpha Nose is a one piece. <coughs> it just, it just sucks. Cause Reen, again, Reen, her, here was her outfit. It was the top, it was the pantalettes and the leggings. And so many glams use the fucking leggings. So, like, I can't imagine Guilty. now the, the, this, this glam not, the legs not being separate. It just sucks that it's still gender locked. Oh, yeah, I sent stuff to talk about the hat issue, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the hat. Uh, okay, hold on, let me copy this link. We'll, uh, we'll paste this. Okay. <clears throat> so basically these are all the sets that are mm -hmm. just like in-game, non-purchasable, earnable, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll notice they're all either circlets. Um, yeah. Or if you go down to ones with the hat. So if you like scroll down a little bit. Mm -hmm. there's, there's like pins. Mm -hmm. There's going to be ones that have like hoods. Little to them. tiny hats. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> there's one hood. And like. Yeah, if you open like any of the like PVP, like the ones with the hoods on them, mm -hmm. PVP, like the green the outfit one here. as well for those. Can you believe it? They were just about to throw all this away. Kaze, thank waste. you for the resub. No joke, fashion be important for a game. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rip. I, I I care about looking good in a game. That that is, I I like. That's what I like about fourteen. It's got. I love the aesthetic. That's why I like <coughs> playing Fashion Souls. <clears throat> yeah. So if yeah. you scroll through the leftmost one, typically what they do is they they like show if the hat works on different races or not. So like uh, the leftmost. Wearable. Leftmost. Yeah, and then. Oh, right the, here, female. No. There's a little I gallery, like the basically. That's cool. So you were scrolling through that one oh, with like the different angles, the one right now. Yeah. Yep. So just go left one more. You can scroll through those images too. I can't scroll through them. No more to the left. All the way to the left. This one. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. <laughs> it just shows Viera can't wear it. Yep. They can. She can't. If anyone plays Viera, <laughs> I actually highly recommend before going into content going to this site because they normally will show you. <laughs> yeah, they'll show you what they look like. <clears throat> yeah, a, and if hats work or not. Okay. Yeah, no, they have a specific bar game. now for Viera, and if Viera can't wear them, Hrothgar can't either. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Vera can actually wear this one. Yeah. If it's... They can remove the ears completely, but putting them through hats, no. <laughs> no. That's where they draw the line here. The fuck would a yacht addiction even look like? Oh. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, masks, hoods. <clears throat> hoods tend to not be an issue until they are. <laughs> until they are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they've been doing kind of a little rough, specifically with this expansion and hat friendliness. Mm-hmm. So, like, you'll notice all yeah. the, like, the big gear just yeah, doesn't include them. Yeah. Smiley face. Yeah. Yeah, that one doesn't work. <laughs> nope. No, it does not. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. The bread is here! Uh, Can you believe Kaze it? gifting you Eclair a sub. Thank what you. How are you doing today? Yeah, and it's that thing of, like, <clears throat> fine, I guess. But it, it just kind of sucks. And again, for the, for the race, <coughs> having been out for almost five years now, it's insane. And it's at this point, and here's the thing, because they also have like, and you can see it when you do like, when you look into the game uh, files for like hairstyles and, and all that stuff, or even the hairstyles for Viera. Vivi, hello. We were just watching earlier. We were watching the the keynote for fourteen, and we saw the trailers and everything. So we we went through all of that. Now we're just kind of talking about stuff in terms of fourteen. We're pretty much just having a just chatting, which I should probably just change it to just chatting. Because <laughs> later on, if depending on how where conversations go, I might just like switch on the casual tiki yeah. talk. Well, time to go look. Freaking, <coughs> freaking. We can put it on again, but no. <coughs> we can, um, but yeah. Uh, when it comes to, I, I, I really think they, uh, no, wait, here's my, I, I found my train of thought. So when it comes to, like, if you go to the game files and you look at the hairstyles, like, obviously, um, if you look at the number codes, the same hairstyle for the other races and for Viera are different. Even though the, they, they have similar hairstyles now. And what that tells me is that that's a whole different... That's essentially a copy of the hair specifically for Viera. <clears throat> they can do that with the hats. If they can do that with the hair, they can do that with the hats. It's just not in their priorities. Which is why I think they should just bring on just a couple freelancers and their job is to figure that out. Fix the, fix the remaining hairstyles. Fix the remaining hats. <clears throat> throw them into the game. It makes my game bigger. Whatever, I guess. Everyone can have their fucking hats. Because like you mentioned also too, Zara. We don't care about clipping. We've been, we've been wanting longer hairstyles. We've been wa wanting more flowing things. We've been wanting... There have been, there've been so many people wanting so many things. And there have been times where the team is like, yeah, but like clipping. And they even like on certain things, they'd be like, oh, be wary of clipping. We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mentioned it when we were talking the other day, too. But like one of the things that makes me a little <laughs> sad is that some of the gear now they're actually removing like. Aura and um, Mikote tails, too. Yeah. Because they're just like not accommodating for it. And I was like, no, I want my tail. <laughs> Yeah, fucking, like, don't dock my tail. What the fuck? Look, as long as the giant green sword is clipping to the front of the player, I think it's what's fine. But yeah, I I, I hope that they... I, I don't think it's a, it's a hard problem to fix. I really don't. And again, I when, when it comes to, like, costumes and shit like that, if they're gonna be over $15, make them account-wide. I'm not gonna <laughs> buy an outfit five times for every character. Ice Heart's attire should have come with a fucking hairstyle. Gaia's should have come with a fucking hairstyle. Modders already have it so that you can work so that you can work it on your on any character, including Viera. The Nas hairstyle, there's already a mod that can you can put it on male characters and one you can put it on female characters. You can give us the Nas hairstyle. Ice Heart, Ice Heart has been around since fucking um, before Heaven's Ward. Where's her hairstyle? 
If you can fit it on a child model, you can fit it on everybody else. Where is I it? I fucking missed mm-hmm. it and I didn't get it. It's bullshit. <coughs> What's funny, too, mm-hmm. um, there's another piece of attire in the store. It's like the Magitech, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like the tech wear gear that has the headphones. Yeah. They move to the positions of the headphones for every single different race. Yeah. So they can. They can. Uh, they, just... they can. They just don't. <clears throat> And here's the thing too, and this is probably why. Now I'm I'm I I don't know how much influence Yoshi P has on on the online store. I I I don't know. And at this point, I'm also kind of convinced that Squeenix themselves has a little bit of the the say on on what charge. I don't know. I I don't know who's in charge of the online store, who has a say or what. The online store can be pretty money grabby. <clears throat> But fucking a complaint I heard about Ice Heart's outfit was that you can already make this outfit in the game. That's just the brand new, the brand new armlets and the brand new boots and the brand new. This is just the brand new attire. But like and then the top is like a casting set. The only difference between this and Ice Hearts is that Ice Hearts has this little this little waist shit. <clears throat> So a lot of people are complaining about this I- this item set, which okay, kind of valid. It looks exactly like one that's already in the game, but was limited only to casters. This allows people who don't play a caster class to wear this. <coughs> also, they made them separate items. Thank you. Why? Because again, the thigh boots, the armlets, they're already in the game. <laughs> They're already in the game. These are just the brand new armlets. Like these, these yeah. are already in the game. The robe is already in the game, but it's a... so. Of course, there's no excuse to make it one piece. They're already in the game. They're just charging you twelve dollars yeah. for it. Say what you want, well about WoW, but if you bought a mount from their style, every character. Well, here's the thing, Kaze. The mounts are a different story. Um, if we do the mounts. <clears throat> The amount, the mounts, some mounts are single character. Like this deer right here, this was from last year's Christmas event. And it's $12. That one's a single character. The more expensive mounts, like this one here, account wide. <clears throat> so if I buy this mount, Polo gets it, and so does my Trin. Oh, both of my characters in my account get it when it's account wide. So that's what that way you can kind of maybe justify the price. But <clears throat> again, here's another account wide one. Ooh, that's edgy. Yeah, this oh is a God. shadow wolf. Um, oh, that one's $24. Cool. Let's look for a cheaper mount. Some mounts are a little bit less expensive. Mm. Uh, well, $12 mount. One. Yeah. The $12, the, uh, the $12 character. Yeah, $12 mount, single character. So the cheaper mounts tend to only be for one character. <laughs> No, like I'm guessing some of these cheaper the... ones were in a, were in a past in-game event, and that's so why they're cheaper. The, for for the for the bears, the egg, the thrones, mm-hmm. yes, yeah. So I think these were used to be past holiday mounts, which is why, because <laughs> again, um, <clears throat> and that's why. I think what? the only I think the only exception is the cloud in that twelve one. Yeah, I think that's a... the only one that's like an OG to the store. Yeah. So like I like the white I like the white devil mount. That one looks pretty sick. Yeah, it's just yeah. a uh, just a mech single character. But yeah, oh, the cheaper I the cheap mechs. the cheaper mounts, they tend to be single character, while the more expensive mounts, once we pass the $20 threshold, they're looking at account wide. And mm-hmm. okay, that's fine. That's fair. Whatever. <clears throat> and they'll usually tell you here, see account wide, account wide, account wide, account wide single character they'll tell you here so that like you don't accidentally buy this thinking you can get it all over this used to be china exclusive only china used to have this one what is that a lotus it's a lotus it's a mechanical lotus Uh my friend gifted me that one i love it yeah there's um there's a mount coming up that's like a little moon with like a lopper on it that i really want but i don't think it's out yet i think it's going to be in the patch content 
I don't something know. Really, something really weird they do, too, is that the more people can ride the yeah, mount, the more yeah, expensive yeah. they make it. Yeah, so yeah, like I, bought, I have the lunar whale. I think that's exactly that's exactly true. It's forty two. Yeah, the lunar yeah. whale's forty two. It, for, it was forever ago, but yes, I bought that. It was really sometimes sometimes it's on sale. It's a whale for whales. Yeah, <laughs> I I got this one because I like this yeah. one. It's adorable. Look at that. Um, <clears throat> I I see that they have the magic carpet here. I wish it could have two people. It's crazy to me. It doesn't. Allow. It, it's crazy to me that they don't have a magic carpet that allows two people. It's yeah. so um, easy. <clears throat> really yeah. easy. Chocobo carriage for four people. That's cute as fuck. Uh, so we, this well, thing. one does hold eight people, so that it would be make sense why it's like I double like the, the price. steampunk yeah. Gundam <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, that one's, yeah, Bruce, that one's that one's only two people. That like, that's so. fucking cool. <laughs> it transforms when you fly. It has two different modes. Yeah. yeah, no, no. I think I remember Squeaky having that one. It was either, it was either Squeaky or um. I I don't have this Fox. mech. Okay, so it's probably Crazy Fox then. Yeah, it's probably Crazy Fox that has it. Um, they also just charge more for the motorcycles. Like the yeah, base yeah. price of that one is thirty seven, and the other one's thirty. Yeah. <laughs> the third, the other one down there is Advent Children. Yeah. Uh, motorcycle. That one that's thirty dollars is I'll pay for that because it, uh, it has Alpha and them in it. Yeah. I, I will say the weird thing too. Mm -hmm. Um, the one specifically from Advent or the yeah. Advent Children, the the Fenrir. Yeah, it has higher movement speed. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah it it's does. faster than all the other mounts. Don't what? Do it. Yeah, that no, is. It doesn't matter because that means nothing in the grand scheme of anything. Yeah, but it's really funny. It's just going from point A to point B. That's all. That's all. Is really. It, maybe it's, it's because it's, maybe it's because it's a specific Final Fantasy. I don't know. Yeah. It's just Cloud Road. He can he Cloud goes I, fast. I just love the logic here, where it's like if it was by yourself, then Alpha is just there, so you're not by yourself. But then it was like, but it was meant to be a two person mount. But we don't want to get rid of Alpha. You're on the tire now. Fuck you. It's like how Ninja has a faster move speed than every other class. <clears throat> not that you'd really notice. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Holy shit, I just realized the Lollafell is like hanging onto the back. Just yeah, they're hanging you. on the tire. Fuck you. <laughs> you, you don't fuck get you. To fucking the seat is this as you can see, Alpha is sitting here, so yeah. you get the sit you sit on the tire now. Sorry, the seat's taken. <laughs> this was yeah. the I think last year's Halloween event, so you've got like a like a wake doctor, like a plague doctor outfit. Yeah, that I got that one. <laughs> I got that one. Um but yeah, just these glams, they're getting really expensive. I think the most expensive one is the fat cat and the street attire. And they're still single character. That's insane to me. Fat also, they come, they, come in, they come in a coffer because you get a bunch of shit out of it. You get the cap, a top, a jacket, handwear. You get... <clears throat> I, I don't know why specifically it comes as a coffer, but okay, because it's more than five, because it's more than five items, I guess. But still, it's <coughs> it's single character. Why isn't this account wide? It's it's a it's a it's either this or a mount. I can get the amount for this for this price. Yeah. Same thing with the fat cap. That's the same. That's the same price the as a mount. I guess. And it gets rid of our tail. <laughs> and it gets rid of your tail. No, fuck your tail. They don't want your tail. They're like, here's our here. This is your tail now. <laughs> yeah. Here's a here's a fucking. Here's this unglazed cinnamon bun. That's your tail now. Racism against tails. Here's your here's, just, here. Have this donut. Uh, if they're gonna do that, I would like at least if they like had tail physics, so the tail was just under it or something. Yeah. Like it's not hard. I don't understand why they go that direction. Does it cover your butt? It docks your tail. Your tail is now up your spine. You don't have a tail. The only thing I can think of to explain the price differences is having to do with paying the person who designated the outfit and designed the outfit in some way. No, because the development team designed the outfit. They're already getting paid whether we buy it or not. And again, <clears throat> I hear, I hear now again, most of the time with these glams, I don't buy them. The only glam, the last glam I bought on this was the street attire. Because <laughs> I wanted the little crop top. I had also just noticed that the hand stuff, they had also paints your nails. I didn't know that. 
And then I did, and then I saw that and noticed that it did. But I wanted the cute little crop jacket, but I don't even know if I'm going to do anything with it. Um, one of the things that I kind of, and again, I, I saw it the most when Gaia's outfit came out, was that people were constantly complaining about it, complaining about it, complaining about it. And yet people still fucking bought it. Stop fucking buying it. Because hmm. that's also kind of probably, Lisa's outfit was also a huge disappointment. Lisa's outfit is so fucking gorgeous for it to be one fucking piece. I want some of the glands because of either how cute it is or because of the outfit itself. Like, <clears throat> that outfit is so fucking cute and it comes with Lisa's hairstyle. But it's one piece, so fuck you. You can't dye it, so fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> also... It because it's easier to make them all one outfit? Is that why? I, I don't know. Hmm. Also, own... the hair piece color also is not difficult to in this. Smiley face. Oh yeah, you also can't. Yeah, the the hair the the hair the hairstyle has a, a golden thing on it. You can't change the color of it, so you're just stuck with a gold hair piece, even if you don't want it. You're just stuck. Um, <clears throat> and again, <coughs> I think they just choose to body swap. Also, least you know, just to just to shit on you even more. Uh, it's 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 gender locked because of course. So it's one piece because fuck you. It's gender locked because fuck you. You can't dye it because fuck you. It's just a body swap. That's why I think it's just a body swap. And again, people complain about it and yet they still bought it. Mm. And I think that's why to whoever's in charge of the Mog Station or whoever's in charge of making certain glams from the Mog Station, whether it's NPCs, it's more, again, this is mostly only NPC outfits, but it's it's become too much of a thing with NPC outfits and then individual glams being too expensive. Stop buying it. If they if people don't buy it, they'll do something about it. You it's kind funny. of when it comes to this sort of thing, you have to kind of you kind of have to talk with your wallet. You can't be like, oh, man, I hate this glam. I can't believe it's one piece. I can't believe I can't die it. While meanwhile, you're literally checking out of the mog station with it with it. You're walking out of the store wearing it, but complaining about it. Honestly, ever since Dream Fitting <clears throat> came out, I've been buying a lot less of the thing. Because I can just look and be like, oh, yeah, no, it yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, ever since Great, Dream Fitting. Thank you. It's now I know. <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing, too. Before it was like the, the spring and outfit. I would have never bought the spring and outfit. Um, if I well, here's the thing. The spring and outfit's cute as fuck. Honestly, I lucked out. It was five dollars and cute as fuck. <laughs> But I wish that you could have tried it on. Back then, Dream Fitting wasn't a thing. Um, so I bought it and I was like, man, I hope this looks cute. Um, and <coughs> if it was more expensive and I couldn't try it on, I probably would not have bought it. And like Dream Fitting has helped a lot to really dissuade me from buying anything because I can just see what it looks like off the bat. Um, and again, most of the glams don't kind of super fit the, the aesthetic I want anyway, unless it's like a pair of boots. I kind of fucked up. I, a while back, I bought Yastola's <laughs> outfit, <coughs> her Shadowbringer's outfit, because I wanted the boots. And Yastola's outfit's really funny, because Yastola's outfit is also separate parts, and not just one piece. But the problem is, you can't dye it either. And you, can, you can't dye Rin's outfit either. I I wasn't planning on dyeing any part of it, but I wanted specifically the boots. And then when I saw you couldn't dye it, I was like, oh, fuck. At this point, to someone <clears throat> coming into the game, there are some pieces from the store I would recommend, and then some pieces I would hard tell them to not do. Yeah. I, as someone who occasionally looks at the Mog Station somehow, I would just say, stay away from all the One Piece glams. Don't buy them. Mm-hmm. Don't even just, go uh, even, the, just go read the mangas. <coughs> <coughs> like, yeah, some of them come with hairstyles. Yes. Like, some of them come with hairstyles. Again, that means you don't get leases. I think that you don't get leases and you don't get Alize's hairstyle, but Alize's hairstyle is just a flipped alphano. That's it. But, um, what? just stay away from okay. the One Piece Mod <laughs> Station items. They... They're lazy. Yeah. <laughs> They're lazy. 
Um, my favorite, my favorite hairstyle, basically in the game that I use, which is the Amaric hairstyle. I had to buy an attire that I can never wear. <laughs> yeah, that's another so I thing could too. get it. <laughs> I but, wish they had oh, just a hairstyle, a pack for hairstyles. Yeah, because there's At like there there aren't as many short hair I options for phone girls phone in the game, like the <clears throat> the adventuring one. Mm -hmm. It's like a ponytail with like a purple ribbon for girls, but like a really cool, really cool one for guys. Yeah. So uh, it, it's gender locked. The Magitech attire. Yeah. I love how for hours. They changed the headphones there. there. Yeah, they just move them up there. Oh, that's 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 pretty sweet. Because the Aura's ears are their own, their ear cones. Yeah. I was really hoping they would put it over the horns. I'm not no. gonna lie. I thought that'd be cute. So I just put a new, another meme in the fucking. It's somewhere. It's such. It's so see. accurate now. Shut the fuck up. My DPS is a not safe for work artist, and he can draw me fucking your mom. <laughs> God, beautiful. They, they can be now. It's I'll give them true. money for this thing I hate that'll show them. Yeah, pretty much. If you want to buy them, them, buy them when they're on sale. Yeah. But what, for the one pieces, Here. just don't buy them. So this actually did. I have an actual real uh, example of of um like um if you have a problem with something, your wallet is the best way to you know yeah not you know, to, to protest that. Uh, case in point, the latest problem with l fucking Total War Warhammer 3. <laughs> um, the latest shit was bad, and no one was happy about it. And they d and actually, people didn't buy it en masse. And mm -hmm. CA's like, oh, shit, this made, like, nothing in comparison. Yep. We need to put out a public statement apologizing and trying to maybe undo our fuck up now. Yeah, no, if people don't buy it, they will notice. They're like, this isn't selling. Why isn't it selling? Oh, <clears throat> everyone fucking hates everything about us because of the shit we've been doing. Yeah, and that, mm. that, and that's the thing that happens too much with fourteen. And I, and it's not just fourteen; it's other games too. Oh yeah, and it's it's why Pokemon games are going down the shitter too because of the uh, of the of the timeless. You're gonna buy it anyway. <laughs> why do the Pokemon games need to fix their issues? You're gonna buy it anyway. I bought Starfield, yes. and I should have known better. We gotta buy it anyway. I did, and I regret it. And because it. of that, and because of that, they can continue giving you a subpar product because you're gonna buy it anyway. Another I thing. I thought their pipe buying <laughs> Microsoft would have changed something, but it changed nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing I don't like are like the veteran rewards or like the thing that WoW does, where like you sub for six months and you get a mount. Like it's cool. It but... goes in the cash shop anyway after like another six months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I liked having my alabaster griffin, and then I'm like, oh, I see it in the store again, I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. So this topic is actually pretty interesting when you actually take it to a macro level. Mm hmm Yeah. Anyway, a $5 set of virtual pizza, and I would pay $5 for a real pizza. A you can, get a, you can get a real pizza for $5 at 7-Eleven, unless the fucking inflation has fucked that over. I and it's for and it's for four and it's for five consumable pizzas, although although it is kind of cute when it's over, it actually changes to this. So I like, like yeah. I love how that's Yoshi P. Generally well speaking, felt. in terms of the actual data, boycotts don't work. Oh. Hmm. Oh yeah, I, no, I never believed that. You have to have like a really really big movement for like. It has to be it ha to yeah. Work. It has to be really big. It's kind of hard to yeah. say. Like actively Literally. being like it when it comes to like certain things with companies, you gotta hit them with the sales. If they if it doesn't sell, they wonder why it doesn't sell. <laughs> and when it, and especially with the 14 team, it seems like they care enough that they would want to look into why that didn't sell. Yep. <clears throat> why did this item not sell well? I mean, this is a terrible example, but because circumstances uh but the star wars hotel is closing because it didn't sell because it was a subpar product for mm -hmm. for two thousand dollars for three nights that's insane <laughs> oh yeah these beretta rewards these were not worth it 
Yeah, it was glorified. You were playing glorified shuffleboard in a galaxy far, far away, and you were basically driven there in a truck. I love the freaking description. Yeah. Decorate deliciously now, with a pizza. Bad publicity yeah. makes stuff happen, and a large oh, enough yeah. boycott often correlates with that. But the boycott is usually a byproduct of a larger agitation, like with Total Warhammer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it took a lot of bullshit for people to finally just get pissed and just stop giving them the money in mass at least and then it's like oh now we notice mm -hmm. it took a long time to get there but they got there but again it did take longer than it's i like it itself <clears throat> is largely meaningless as the damage was done before it started <coughs> also yeah. do you want to hear some something, something really uh fucking stupid <laughs> with mm -hmm. the star wars hotel when the the star wars hotel had exclusive stuff in there like lightsabers and uh, costumes and stuff like that. You could only buy if you were a guest there. Mm. You couldn't, and and they were already like two, three hundred dollars for that kind of stuff. And you had to be already be paying to be there. You couldn't get that in any other part of the park. You had to get it specifically there. That is that not to me, but in general, is outrageous. No. The little fucking wind up Emmett itself. Yeah, now that's a now that now that's a cash shop item. I'm not surprised. Everyone loves Solus. I bought the snap. I'm part of the problem. Yeah, I think I bought the snap too. <laughs> How could I not? I don't I also don't like the like specifically putting in game music into the cash shop either. Oh no, I don't like that. No, I don't buy no. I don't it's buy like, the Wait, there's orchestrians in the cash shop. Yeah, yeah. So there's the pulse, which I don't remember how many songs that has. So, oh my. Uh, but it's got five. Okay. It's got five for fifteen dollars. Yeah. So three three dollars per song. It's from yeah, the remix yeah. album. So this isn't in-game music. It's remixed in-game music. Yeah. <laughs> there is some. There is some in-game music in here though. Yeah. And then there's the like orchestral versions. Like I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about Orchestrians being purchasable. I am not terribly into that item. No. But god damn it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of that, but I don't I don't buy those. Um for games boycotts to be large enough, mm -hmm. you probably need another game to do all the things right that the game you want to boycott or doing wrong, like with Baldur's Gate 3 putting the fear into AAA game studios. Yes. The fact that AAA games would, studios would be publicly bitching, it just fills me with... Companies operate on shareholder vibes. If you can convince shareholders something won't sell, the pressure they provide will lead to changes. Consumer yeah. boycotts are often symbolic and ineffective gestures in terms of actual effect. I could go over it more because it's actually a rather complicated subject, but basically, late stage capitalism, yo. Yeah. That sounds about right. This is that thing where it's like, oh, here we go. Here's the, the Gaia hammer set. It's a coffer with just a bunch of versions of the hammer that can be equipped by certain classes. <coughs> so warrior can have it. Reaper can have it. Black mage. Oh, that hammer looks fucking Lan Paladin. Lancer, Paladin, White Mage, and Dark Knight. These are the classes that can wield this. Yeah, so seven piece. That really should be for that really should be for every class in all honesty. Well, here's the thing: how is Red Mage gonna wield that? How With is a rogue gonna wield that? Grace. How is it like With elegance and grace? <laughs> I understand why not every class can wield the hammer, <coughs> because not every class has a weapon that can be held in, in like the various ways this hammer can be held. Red Mage can't do it. Scholar are scholar and summoner. They use a fucking book. Um, fucking bard, no. Rogue ninja, no. Um, I do else? love the idea of rogue with two tiny hammers, though. Sage, no. I would love that. <laughs> like these are the class. The essentially, this just shows that these are the classes. That hold that usually hold <laughs> one or at least one, like just hold one weapon. 
It'd be funny for Sage to have a bunch of little hammers that just fly at people. It'd be, It'd be hilarious. Very funny. Uh, but they don't. Yeah, they, apparently, clearly, Squeenix doesn't think it's funny. But so, so I get it. Um, so anybody who else wanted to wield the hammer, I'm sorry, you're not playing a class that can affect that can essentially, in essence, wield the hammer. Play a class that does. Like scholar, like scholar, I want a guy as hammer. Too bad you fight with a book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> like I'm right. <laughs> um, I feel like, and this is something in a similar vein to with the Equestrians. I don't think that emotes that are also already in the game should be in the cash shop. Hmm. Now, the T, as far as I know, we didn't see the T emote maybe at the latest or at the earliest or latest until the last scene of Shadowbringers where Yastola was drinking her tea. <coughs> at the end of patch content. Uh-huh. Um, that's the only time I've reasonably seen an NPC I hate holding that a teacup. Aren't account wide. Oh yeah, I hate that too. They should be account wide. Um, I hate that emotes aren't account wide, and I hate that some of them like don't you give you the option to loop them. I I hate that you can't gift most emotes anymore. I hate that. I hate that people fucking exploiting. Um, cheap cash shop items and like selling them for like real world currency and shit or whatever people were fucking doing where they, they found an exploitation in the cash shop <coughs> made it so that now you can't gift people emotes. I used to gift people emotes and like um, I think some minions because minions are also not account wide. I wish minions were account wide. Um, let me see where are the minions. Uh, set bonus. No. Uh, category. Mounts. Minions. Minions aren't... Oh, no, some of them are account-wide. <clears throat> Not all of them, though. So, like... Edge. Okay, so Final Fantasy ones from the, from the main titles. These are account-wide. For some reason. Um, Cloud Tifa, they're account-wide. Uh, Dome and Magpie? Nope. Panda? Nope. Um, the Scions? The Lamb? This? Nope. 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 N none of these. Rudy? Nope. For some reason, <laughs> Shantoto, even though she's a, from a mainline Final Fantasy? Nope. Ori the Snowman. So for some reason, the only account wide ones are like mainline are these mainline Final Fantasy ones <clears throat> for some weird reason. And then. Yeah, all the other ones are single character. I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. One of my friends is interested and I would love to get him the panda mount because he loves pandas. Yeah, and then they're, again, they you can't gift them. I would love to gift people, like, minions and <clears throat> and emotes and stuff, but you can't anymore. <coughs> because of assholes. Like, <clears throat> unless, unless there's a way to gift people... <clears throat> unless there's a way to gift people the credits at the very least, so that they can buy it from the store themselves, like a gift card or something. Like, there's no way to do that. There's no way to, like, give people a Final Fantasy gift card except for time um, so that they can spend it in the cash shop. Like, I can't do that. That makes me sad. I can only gift, like, ex no, you can't even gift mounts! Even the more expensive mouse, you can't gift anything. What the fuck? Unavailable is gift. What can you gift? Cosmic 
costume sets. Okay, buy for a friend. You can do that. Okay, so costume sets you can still buy for people. <clears throat> so you can't buy... Oh, they only did mounts and emotes then. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> veteran rewards? I don't think I... I think I've gotten all the veteran rewards already because I, I don't get any more. Uh, 60 days <clears throat> with Cloud. 50 days is a done. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. I think it, like, I think this is, like, a really easy way to, like, yeah. let people have fun and earn slams, you know? Yeah. Like, you're, if you're going to be playing the game anyways, <laughs> it, it's fun to, like, sprinkle rewards for people. Yeah. Because then, like, the people that are already, like, playing a ton can probably oh, yeah, get slime. it. I, yeah, I wish they would but... keep adding to this. Yeah, I wish they did this more. Because <coughs> really, rank four is, congratulations, you played for about a year. Yeah, the only outfit you would get is Squalls. You'd have to, play, you'd have to be playing for, you'd have to have uh, 330 um, active days. And by active days, it just means that um, your account was active for that. Not that you played this many days. Your account was active for this many days. Um, <clears throat> yeah, how long you've had an active subscription. So, like, if you only paid for, if you paid for 60 days, but you don't play, you at least get the cloud outfit. <coughs> That's fine. Definitely needs more awards. Yes. Nowadays, they should definitely put more rewards in the legacy system. That's something they should definitely bring back, but they don't. <clears throat> and I feel like that's a way, that's something you can do with the Scions. With either more mainline costumes or with the Scions. Start putting, <clears throat> start putting, start putting some of these outfits in, in the veteran rewards. <clears throat> I would probably forgive some of the issues with like Alize's or Gaia's or Lisa's. If it was in a veteran, a veteran reward, if I was given it for free. Take the 14 NPC outfits and make them new legacy rewards when Dawn Trail drops. Exactly. Exactly. Like. At, 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 the, at this point, after how many years certain things, certain things have been out. Like, again, that brand new Alize's attire. She hasn't worn that shit <clears throat> since Stormblood. She only wore it for a little bit. Um, into, uh, she only wore it for a little bit into Endwalker until she got her new outfit from her mom. But <clears throat> it's been around since Heaven's Ward. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Heaven's Ward or Stormblood. Make that a legacy outfit. That's her Stormblood outfit. Make it legacy. Um, Lisa's outfit, again, Stormblood. Make it legacy. Mounts as legacy rewards too. Eh, no. No, I don't agree with that. Because you don't need mounts. You don't need costumes either, but um, mounts, no. Um, I think with those little like tokens that I freaking that one, that one NPC <clears throat> that you can like give tokens to because like those little achievement tokens, I think those you can maybe get some mounts. And you kind of can already, but not too many. Or put them in the gold saucer. <coughs> also, big bonus to the, uh, the veteran reward outfits. Um, mm -hmm. They're all separate pieces. Yep, they're separate pieces. Well. Woo! I gotta use the bathroom. Uh. Yeah, I do think, like, they have, like, the high summoner's attire and stuff like that that could be really fun in here, too, which literally, like, 
falls into the veteran rewards. Like the same exact mold as the other ones in there. I don't know, whichever one makes me look cooler, that's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Clive's outfit and Jill's outfit are going to be for an event in game would be my guess. We already know that we're getting Torgal. Torgal's gonna be a mount. But yeah, I can't see them adding it and not having it be separate people. Yeah, but though I did notice all the legacy rewards are male outfits, so they presumably right. wanted oh, unisex yeah, I, appeal. I <clears throat> Let's hope that Clive's outfit and Jill's True. is also dropping separate pieces. I would love that. I would love Clive or Jill's outfit. I think it'd be, yeah, and I would want multiple pieces, yes. Please. For the love of God, please. Clive out. yeah, I did hear Clive's outfit as part of the event, that is true. <clears throat> I just need <laughs> Clive's shirt, okay? I need it. It's going to make a sick-ass <laughs> Reaper glam. I will not explain any further. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Torgal. Yeah, no, it's a mount. Um, Torgal is a mount, and then Puppy Torgal is a minion. Which, yeah, no, give me that. I'll, do, I'll, I'll get both. I want both. And I think the fourth, the sixteen event is going to be just before Dawn Trail or during Dawn, when Dawn Trail drops. When is it? Did they explain that? With the sixteen collab, I don't, I don't know if they specified a date. I didn't. It's in see. April. Okay, it's in April, so it's going to be bef just before Dawn Trail drops. Okay, I couldn't remember if they talked about it. Honestly, I could see them dropping the release date and dropping the XIV event at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want them to do a hairstyle pack. I want them to just give me hairstyles. Because, again, that's another thing where it's like they've, they've talked about hairstyles. I saw some of the results from the hairstyle contest that won. And there was also... That thing where it was like, even if certain hairstyles don't win the contest, it doesn't mean they won't be implemented. So even some like um, when I heard about the uh, the costume thing and I saw that detail, I was just like, people, even if you don't win, enter anyway. Your hairstyle might be implemented. You never know. And <clears throat> I saw some of the winners. Some of them look really pretty. Some of them should be longer. I'm really, I really want them to just start implementing longer hairstyles. Like you have, again, you have Gaia's, you have Ice Hearts, you have the Nas, you have, you can Yotsuyu's, you have longer hairstyles. I don't care about clipping. Just give me them. Just give me the hairstyle. I don't care if it clips. Um, if I could ask for anything, there's like this one really, really long Vera ponytail that I adore to bits. That is. Um, a racial hairstyle. Oh, I know exactly which one you're talking about. I want that. I want that a lot. <laughs> there's this one. There's a one hairstyle that integrates some parts of it, not the ponytail, but the like overall like fringe area. Um, that like implements it for a mashup. There's some really cute mashups. Um, vanilla mashups on a uh, on <laughs> on the on on the mod archive. And again, that's another thing too, where it's like, freaking get, get, get some freelance modders on that shit. If if hairstyles take too long, fucking get some freelancers on that shit, please. Give me hairstyles. I'll pay for that. Yeah, they also like gave Viera a lot of longer hairstyles too that are specifically mm -hmm. like locked to being a Viera. I also I think they're gonna do that. Sauce. I think they're gonna do that with the Fem Hrothgars too. Some of them already look like they had longer yeah. hairstyles. Probably. Like that one right there already has like pretty long hair. Like it's like right around here. Like past the shoulder blades. It's already pretty long. And it's long and floofy and rough and mane like and Mm-hmm. Gimme, like gimme. That one, that one's okay. That one's shoulder length.
Yeah, that one's already like nice and long and fluffy, like you said. Like, so they, they can give us longer hairstyles. They just don't. <laughs> Bomb, yeah, they just your friend brush. Yeah, they just specifically locked them to racial hairstyles. Yeah, <laughs> it makes me sad. Like you can give us longer hair, you just don't want to. Bullshit. Give me longer hair. Ah, uh. but longer hair is hard. I don't care. Do it. <laughs> You have a whole hairstyle contest and you picked like hold on, where the where are the hairstyle contest winners? <clears throat> I think my thing with the hairstyle contest is that there were a couple of hairstyles that looked like pretty similar that they gave multiple winners to. Yes. Like, hold on, is this the twenty twenty three? So these yeah, are the yeah. ones that won. So like, okay. Mm, it's fine. It's cute. Guy hairstyle. Okay, fine. This one is cute. And it's got like the... Obviously people want to have like the under... This like kind of like e-girl <laughs> kind of... um Two-tone, but like under. This one's cute. Now, this one looks like a long hairstyle. <clears throat> but again, I'm kind of... I'm not sure how long it reaches because they didn't put anything past this. So I'm kind of like, uh, how long do we go? And there's no other sketch to tell me. And that's the thing of like, I saw some people did that. <clears throat> then you got um, these, which I'm feeling like people just took K-pop stars and were like, I want Jimin's hair hairstyle. <laughs> like, yeah, like this <clears throat> one looks a lot like that first one we saw. Yeah, this one looks similar to this one. <laughs> It like looks similar. similar. It's, it's unremarkable hair. Yeah, it's it's not it's nothing new. <coughs> and yet it won, and I'm like, eh. This one again. <clears throat> I feel like we already have a hairstyle that looks like this, but the highlights are are different. So I guess it's I don't I don't eh. This one's cute. We got a nice like comfy bun. I think. This is like, <clears throat> other than like the under dye ones, this is like the first net new, like nothing similar to it. Yeah, this one's like the first like unique one. But again, it's again, I, I, updos are cute. I don't do updos, so it's like whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure we have something like this already, but okay. Um, this one, I don't think we have anything that's looking like this. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, this one's also really cute, but again, I don't do a lot of bound hair, but some people might like it. You might get some really cool mashups with this, so there you go. This one's cute. This one, I feel like we've already seen a lot of these. This one is promising. This one I like. <coughs> My it's only aloe card, and they it don't is. have enough good long hairstyles for guys. It is, and I'm hoping that this is a guy hairstyle. My only gripe is that they kind of cop us out where it goes, it only trails on the front, there's nothing in the back. <coughs> so, like when you're running, what's it going to look like when you're running, when you're doing anything, when it's all right, when it's only when it's locked in one position like this? That's what I don't like about the hairstyles like this. Yes, this is me being absolutely um, obnoxiously picky. I, I am I'm I'm not being gracious with how picky I am being here. I hate when long hairstyles cop us out like this. This is a cop out. This hair is not going to move. <coughs> What's the point? <laughs> What's the point if it doesn't move? Oh, this no, is cute. I think the physics end of things is completely valid. Hmm. Yeah, they have something like this in game already, and it doesn't really move, right? Yeah, it's it's, it's more of a he may cut things and the he may cut. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't move. And what's the point? This There's is cute. Looking good in screenshots and actually looking good in game. Yeah, and these don't look good in game. <clears throat> this this is good. I like this because we need more textured hair. The fact that like <clears throat> that when it comes to like like more um textured hair more like curly hair we've only got dreadlocks and an afro um <coughs> it's better than nothing yeah okay 
but already with all the races and all the cultures that 14 is exploring we need more hair to reflect that so this is a positive i like this this is nice. i love this one it's so cute this is really cute this already i like the miko example it just looks so fucking cute just like a cute little frizzy cat i think it's adorable um they did the male hairstyles dirty they did short hairstyles dirty they all look the fucking same this is cute uh somebody somebody saw castlevania <laughs> somebody i saw castlevania too <laughs> adorable hair accessories too always a plus oh yeah again and this is just a net this is just a net from nocturne like, I think exactly Annette from Nocturne. Oh, shit. It's midnight. Is it? <laughs> it's only nine. Yeah, Take out yeah. age. I don't care. I'm, uh, I'm going to head out. I got work uh, tomorrow. So. Oh, yeah. No, no worries. I'll talk to you, you have... later. Yeah. Hi. It's, it's, it's giving Annette from Castlevania. With some differences, obvi. But it's giving a net. <clears throat> but it's cute. Again, more more textured hairstyles, more cultural hairstyles. I'm down for it. Lynn, please. <laughs> <coughs> Did Lynn Beer be? I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Um, Nightshade's leaving. I have, to go, I have to go to sleep. Oh, okay. He's super quiet. Oh. Oh shit! Sorry. Have a good night. Yeah, Thank you. Good. I'll have a good night. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I so yeah. Too. I, I hope this will be available for both um both male and female too. I don't see why this couldn't be. Um, Christ, all of you drink ginger tea or something. What? Well, I'm sick, so it's not gonna do much. <clears throat> Short hair, okay, <clears throat> fine. Again, I swear we I have. have I sw I we already have. Now, <clears throat> this is cute. My only gripe is there's literally another winning entry that's the same idea. Oh. Like, hold on. There's... Where is she? Right there. No. It's in Yellowstown no, no, a little bit. Here we go. We literally have this one. I like the second one more. Yeah. But give me one or the other. Not both. They're too samey. Like that's my that's my main gripe. Why did they give me two of like yeah, they're not exactly the same again, but like they're they're not that different either. One's just straight and one's more like wavy. This one's nice. I like this I mean one. <clears throat> Extra it's textures almost like and that really matters. Mm. What'd you say, Lynn? Anyway, what'd you say, Lynn? I you you like roboted a bit for me. <clears throat> it's almost like that matters. Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> I I feel like that's something you can easily change. It's kind of like how some hairstyles, where there'll be two of the same hairstyle. But the only difference will be the bangs, whether it be bangs or no bangs. I feel like you can easily just do that instead of making two separate hairstyles. Especially because depending on how they implement these hairstyles, they're not just going to give them to you. And that's kind of where I'm like, eh. Like, obviously, out of out of both of them, I prefer the second one because this one, the bun looks more like a flower. And I like that. And I've got and you've got like the little braid that trails to it compared to this one where it's kind of more of a saber 
kind of thing in general, just a saber <coughs> cut. Um, but to me, they're they're kind of still a little too similar for me to justify both of them winning. I don't know. That's just me. Um, Marilyn Monroe cut. So that's cute. That's cute. Again, we're we're seeing. I'm seeing a lot of short hairstyles. Hmm. I feel like we have something like this already. If not, one of the winning entries is already like this. This one's cute. This one actually also kind of gives Fire Emblem vibes. Hey, this one's is not- that a net new? <laughs> is it a net? No, it's not. Net oh wait, new. Annette from Fire Emblem, right? I'm thinking of the Oh like net new, like completely new. Oh. Uh, that one, this one is kind of completely new. Yeah. This one is kind of completely new. <coughs> um We got another like nice little messy hair one, which I mean <clears throat> I think let me see one of the winning entries. I mean, we've got the natural curls that comes close, but then, like, we have this. Which, I, I, I guess it's a little bit more, not as poofy. But, <clears throat> I don't know. It kind of just looks like a slightly messier Yashtola. It just looks like Yashtola's hairstyle, but a little bit messier. Or is that just me? Mm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Maybe a little. I don't know. Uh, this one. <clears throat> I guess they're, they're, they're trying to. I love the messy styles. I just wish they'd be available for males. They probably will be. Like, just because they're using the female model doesn't mean it's just going to be only for females. Um, this one, I like this one. It's a little bit longer. It's kind of, it's kind of giving Emmett Selk. It's kind of giving Emmett Selk young Hades. I don't mind this one. It's kind of serving me like male lead in a webtoon as well. Yes. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It is. Um, this one, I feel like we already have something like this. I think we literally like at the top think, had one almost one to one except for a little bit more length. I feel like we already have this one and it's again it's just a undertone. <clears throat> yeah, male manwa, a real basic one. This one is a very basic one. Like, okay. This one, elegant twist. This one's nice. Again, textured hair. You know, giving more variety to hairstyle to certain hairstyles and just different types of hair. So, again, good for more ethnic-based uh, characters. So, like, people that want to make their Warrior of Light set in Tural, in Razatan, or things like that, who want to do that for their story and want their Warrior of Light to reflect that. Yeah, again, more textured hairstyles. I see it. I like it. I like, the, I like that people have more options. Um... I have a bit of a soft spot for these like low hanging twin tails. These are really cute. Again, my gripe, like with the other hair that gave Alucard vibes is that they're draping on the side. So these ain't going to fucking move. These ain't going to fucking move. We already have a twin tail style. Um, that does have the little, little pigtail movements. Um, so this is just pigtails on the side. It's really cute, but it's not going to move. And that's what makes me sad. Okay. I'm obsessed I, with the next one. I hate Art. this. You hate it? I hate it. <laughs> I fucking hate this. It reminds me of a Miku figure I really, really like. I just don't but, like it. <laughs> it's valid. It's literally like tassels. It. It's like buns with tassels attached to them. It's like you cut your hair and immediately had regrets. <laughs> Hair. It's like you wanted to do pigtails, but you didn't want to commit to long hair. I hate this. Here's the thing, though. I don't think they ever implement this one, despite it winning. 
I don't, I don't think they would. Implementing it. I don't think they will. Something about it triggers me, and I don't know why. I just don't like it. Um, it does give Judy from like what is she from Street Fighter? Yeah, Jury Han. It does give Jury Han vibes. And again, <clears throat> the hairstyle is nice. It's a nice <clears throat> hairstyle. I would never use something like this. And I just, I just, I don't care for wearable hair. <laughs> I just want to tug on them. <laughs> Honestly, we don't really have any good pigtails in the game. So if this were just like normal pigtails with cute little like mm. instead of the chains. I mean, we even haven't... that would be like really hype. <coughs> yeah, if these were just normal pigtails. If these were just two tone pigtails sold, I wouldn't use yeah. them, but sold because I think I mean, we only have one cute set of pigtails. It's the one that um, uh. Hildebrand's mom, those long, fluffy twin tails. Mm -hmm. Those are really mm -hmm. fucking cute. They should be longer. Um, again, because me, ultimate long hair bias, I, 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 I will die on that hill. When it comes to this, yeah, no. If they just made them straight up just twin tails, like if they, if these were buns, if these were buns with the tails, like your little like, if they were having like a little Sailor Moon moment, sold. Yeah, I mean, I think in the game we have three pigtail styles and two. one of them is locked to Mikote and Lalafell as like a racial hairstyle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's I don't think there's any pigtail that Alra can wear that aren't like. Um, um I think the um, Hildebrand's mom, she I think that one's a, a PVP or something. Nope, that one, that one I think you can have. Julian. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think you have to, you, you have to obtain it though. You can't like, you don't get it by default. I don't remember. I'd have to, okay, hold on. Let's, let, let's look it up. Why not? Uh, hairstyles unlock. I think like the Fuka's or whatever has it. I what use XIB I collect, which is the one below it. Uh, typically, like XIB collect. Ah. <coughs> yeah, that that's like very good. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> more of those big fluffy tails. Oh, they're not here. I could have sworn they were. Wind collar. Both ways. Oh. Ponytails. Wicked Wake, mm -hmm. Scion Special Issue, Online Store, Pulse, Samsonian Locks. Okay. Okay, I'll, all right, I guess those are only locked to... Well, okay. Julian's hair is a standard hair? Okay, I guess I've just never noticed then. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. If they had went more for like a space bun look, because I love these buns. I love this little like three, <coughs> this little three pronged bun here. I think it's really cute. And then they could have had like a twin tail moment with it. I think it would have been cute. <clears throat> the but, buns and the twin tails are iconic, like with the two color. Yeah. Like that's that's wonderful. That's yeah, the chain, right, the right, chains right. are <laughs> uh, the, the <laughs> chains are just the chains kill it for me. I just I don't care for detached hairstyles like this. I don't care for them. I don't know why. They just don't do it for me. However, um, it, there's, there's that... Yeah, I kind of... I don't know why. It just doesn't do it for me. There's this one VTuber in Hollow Live that her hair makes no sense to me. <clears throat> yeah. It's... Yeah, so it's... Uh, I think it's like Aki Rosenthal. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cute design. She's adorable. I don't care for her hair. I see it now. I see what's going on. Though. I, I, I hate it. Yeah. Well, it's like with the other ones, you can have like the suspension of disbelief that it's just like their actual <clears throat> hair. Yeah. But, but this is like, what's going on here? This is like hair wefts attached to <laughs> an object. And they, and they float. They're not attached to anything. They're like, it's portal hair. Yeah, it's portal hair. And I don't understand it. 
So she has long hair, but she also has short hair, but she also has twin tails. And I see, I would, I would consider this as having short hair. Oh yeah, no, I consider it more short hair because I just fucking eraser tool these and where, where, where to go. (laughs) It's, 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 I, I don't get it. It's unique enough that I remember this VTuber, even though I've never seen any of her content. But like, I just, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. And, and I don't know why, but this kind of gives me those <laughs> vibes. I'm now imagining someone having the hair and every time they pass a Mikote or Hrothgar, they swat the tassels like cat toys. <laughs> I, I will just do a- not test me. <laughs> I also just imagine like, what if like you like get like run into a bush or some shit and one of these rings get caught on a branch? Then what? Are you just stuck to the tree? Because of the, your hair rings? I don't know. <clears throat> this is nice. I don't think we have anything like this. We don't have enough stuff with the shaved stuff into the, the hair like that, yeah. for sure. That's really fun. Yeah, that's nice. Shave tattoo on the side, side plane. Resistance, rebellious cut. Yeah, that one's nice. <laughs> This is cute. Yeah. Curly Bob. That one's the cute. highlighting on it is a really fun <laughs> choice too. Yeah. Having it be a little bit in the front. Yeah. That one's cute. <coughs> Another hairstyle that kind of gives what we already have. This one is cute. I don't think we have anything particularly like this. Like always, I wish it was longer. <clears throat> it's jarring. Huh. This, I wish it was longer. It's really, it's, really cute. The hair accessories and the, the little flowers are oh, to die for. They're yes. super freaking cute. Now, my only gripe would be they'd probably not let you <laughs> change the color of the flowers or the ribbons and stuff. All those little accessories, unless there's a way to dye them, or any way to change the color of them, <clears throat> then it's a little bit of a deal breaker. And that's something that I wish Final Fantasy had done from the very beginning when it came to any hair, because there's that one hairstyle that has a headband with it. I wish that when those hairstyles were chosen, you got the additional option to hairstyle, hair accessory color, because it comes with it. And sometimes they'll be either black or white or silver and gold. And what if they don't match my hair? <laughs> what if I want to what if I want this hairstyle but I'm I want to rock black hair now the ribbons kind of blend in and you can't appreciate them what if I want a lighter hair now you can't see all the little pearls on the flowers it'd be really nice if like for some of them instead of having highlights and main <laughs> hair colors it was it would change to being main color and then accessory color yes Yes. That'd be fun. Trade well, if you if you take the hairstyles that do this, you 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 trade you trade the highlights for the accessories. Some people might complain about that because they want both, but at this point with like limitations and stuff, if that's what's causing the issue, you got to pick one. And I would rather customize this so that I can implement the hairstyle if I wanted to use it instead of just not using it. Uh, this is cute. <clears throat> I like the little I kind of I kind of I'm I'm kind of starting to get a soft spot for hair that kind of like have this like loop across the face uh, think, yeah, that like that just gives this I don't the, care the, the, the kind of vibe. I would the use the so absolute much. yeah everything out of this. This is cute. I, I, I'm a short hairstyle person. So mm. this I love this. I can see this being used for an MB office worker. Yeah, this this kind of like this hairstyle just kind of like gender <coughs> or the lack of one. It just it's cute. It's mm. cute. It gives very cute vibes. Mm-hmm. And I like the little beadies like, right here. A little aura face in the middle. Yeah. Again, and I just I love this one strand that kind of just loops around the eye that just kind of gives like, yeah, I don't I don't care. I'm just kind of going through the motions. I like it. Um, 
This one's kind of funny to me. Because <laughs> what's the point of the pins? Hi, Good Joker. Question. Ah. Yeah, you know who off. else this looks like? It looks like the little brother from yeah, oh, 16, insane. too. Uh, uh, Joshua? Yeah, like name? young yeah. Joshua vibes a little bit, aside from the pins. Yeah, I just, what's killing me, because I know that right here, it's like a braid. It's a very, very loose braid. <clears throat> but what's the point of the pins? They're just there to, like, I guess, hold this braid. <laughs> and then you have two more little pins on the other side. It's cute. It's another it's another messy hairstyle. Among all the other winners, we've already seen like I think three other messy hairstyles that could also work for women. And again, it's cute, but like we already have like a couple others in the winning pool that are like very similar. So I'm kind of like again, we we have too much. We have another updo. This one's a more romantic updo. <clears throat> uh, this kind of looks similar to the very first updo, um, although this one's leaning less saber. And this is, again, more romantic, more wedding. <coughs> this one is really cute. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I would have it be its own hairstyle along with the other two. I would probably pick the second one that has the more straight bangs and then maybe have this as another one because the bun is different enough to me, at least. Um, and it's got the, the little the little flowers kind of littered about. Again, this gives very wedding vibes. <clears throat> Love these messy styles. Hopefully at least one of them will work with my goggles. This one is nice. I like this one. I still wouldn't use it. We've got another updo. Um, I like the addition here of this one little, like, I guess this would be considered um, either a love lock or a rat tail because it doesn't look like it's bound. It just looks like it's kind of, or maybe it is bound, but it's just coming down and then just kind of rests on the shoulder here. This one's cute. <clears throat> it's cute. <laughs> I think there's literally another hairstyle up here that also obscures the eye. It's the death flag tail. Eh, not really. <laughs> not really. That's that's the mom side ponytail. This I wouldn't call this a side ponytail. <clears throat> it just kind of leans on the on the shoulder there. Um, this is like the third side part though yeah. that covers eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we already have several like this. Um, this one's cute. I don't think we have anything like this, do we? Not quite. There's one at the beginning that is kind of curly with like the under under color I type think we, thing, I, but it doesn't have like the cute pins or the bun. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> this one also gets Fire Emblem vibes. Another Another kind of side part. Cover the eye. A lot of these male <laughs> ones are so samey. There are so many things you can do with male hair, so it's it is sad. <laughs> it's very sad that this is what they pick. This one. Okay, so. I think. I think. Yeah. Just it's like I don't... weird because like <clears throat> I like it so much more on their little chibi drawing than I do on the actual model. Yeah, it's it's kind of cute with the chibi drawing, but this is the same thing. <clears throat> Now, I understand what a love lock is. And honestly, when it comes to hairstyles that are short, but have that one long lock. First off, um, I think they're kind of a high risk, high reward. Either you can make them look good or they just look stupid. And in this case, like you said, I think it only looks good on the chibi. But honestly, I can erase it and the chibi wouldn't look any any better or worse. Um, it's cute, but it's stupid, and I hate it. <laughs> it's cute, it's stupid, yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like love locks like this. They don't make any sense to me. I Why did you? It is in the back, though. The lock would be completely dependent <laughs> on physics, and it'll look real weird with elbows. Yeah. Also, also, they're insinuating at this like height, 
that it would be down to mid thigh. Yeah, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, if if it's if it's as long as this, if we if because here's the thing: when it comes to chibis, um, when when it comes to chibis and the squished body proportions, the hair almost never translates. Chibi hair always looks longer than if they were at proportion. So I'm going to say that maybe this is at more about waist than than hips. Because that would require this to be very long. And when it comes to hair, a lot better, yeah. And when it comes to hairstyles like this, and again, I'm I'm well aware that this looking is at the being... tapering, I'm getting chest length from it. Yes, I'm getting che- I'm getting che- chest length just at 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 its longest below the boobs, like rib cage, <coughs> at the longest. And this is me being again unreasonably picky. The longer it is, the more I hate it. The longer that little dumb lock is, the more I hate it. <coughs> this is a hairstyle that out in the real world does not look good on anybody. Because it's just like, hey, you missed a spot. <laughs> it gives I missed a spot and I don't care and I, I don't know why. I just I don't like it. Love locks are very hit or miss, and a lot of them are misses. It it's cute. It's cute on like chibis and shit because you can kind of you 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 can kind of like they work better when they're more of a ponytail. I guess is the best way to put it. <clears throat> like, um, what's a good example <laughs> of a character that has like mostly short hair, but then has these actual like long twin tails? One that comes to mind, Grandia 3? I don't think she's a good example, but she might be. What's her fucking name? No, she's not a good example, because she has, like, actual just straight-up long hair. I'm trying to remember an example of a character that has, like, short hair but then has these like long twin tails, kind of like Joan of Arc from Fate, <coughs> but not quite. I just, I can't remember. Fuck. Mm. <coughs> Fuck. I'm trying to remember, but I can't either. Uh. Hold on, before before I, I Google something and end up getting something that freaking uh seeing if I can find anything that rem- that's reminiscent of it. I hate that I have to put minus AI just to get fucking a result. God, I hate that I can't remember to think think of one. Uh, wow, that was a bad spelling. Like again, the one that comes to recent um, <coughs> but one that comes to mind right now is um uh, is Joan of Arc. Um, because she has this weird thing with her hair. She has this weird thing going on with her hair that it, for the most part, looks short. But then she has this long tail of hair. Oh, like a jellyfish haircut. Yeah, I guess that's what they're called. Is that what they're called? Uh, is that literally what they're fucking called oh my god that's literally what they're fucking called 
You know what? Farina. That's who I'm thinking of. Farina. I was like, there's a character recently that had this shit. It's Farina. It's fucking Farina. Um, Farina has this thing where her hair. She's got a bob. But then she has these long twin tails. <coughs> and they're not bound either. And then later on, her hair, she just has the short hair. They just come off. Um, no, that's 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 a good example. Um, with with Farina, I just I want a better picture of her. Yeah, I can't find a good picture of her. No. Uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, Hoyovers has a thing with gravity and physics defying hairstyles. Yeah. So <clears throat> that that's so yeah. So the, this 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 I guess I guess it's called jellyfish. All right. Um. Yeah. Where it's like short over short over long. The twin tails is only one of her forms that she actively switches in between gameplay. Um. Oh. Okay. A thick rat tail. Yeah. Um. Again, I love Farina's hairstyle. And Sola it's also does something like that. Zola? As in, like, your character for, for Zelda? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. That's a little bit different. I want to say that's a little bit different because normally that's just the bangs, where the bangs are kind of longer <coughs> than the back. If I'm remembering um, the images I have of Zola... Hold on, let me double check. Because I've seen, like, Actually, the... Actually, the side locks. The side locks? Okay, hold on. Let me look. Uh, yeah, she has like okay, yeah, she has like that that long those longer locks and then the the shortened back ends and no, I've seen those and those are more or less fine because there's still some <laughs> balance. There's still the you know it kind of comes down. There's a hairstyle in fourteen that's also like that where it's a short a short back and a longer front. My issue with this specifically is you just have this one long lock that doesn't feel right. <clears throat> or to me, just doesn't look right. That just gives off. Uh, this is where the scissors snapped or some shit. I just, I don't, I don't like it too much. And I find the only times it's done right is when this, especially like something like this, if you're just going to have that one long lock, Move it to the back and make it a ponytail. Make it something like Farina or like Jean d'Arc where it's more of a jellyfish. Whereas in this case, it's kind of just there. <clears throat> it's cute on chibis and stuff, but it, depending on where you put it, it just feels very high risk, high reward. Uh, it needs and that's to be the last symmetrical, one. I think, is like the big yes. thing. It needs to be somewhat symmetrical. Um, <clears throat> some people like it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not one for it. I feel like it's a hairstyle that wouldn't look good on anything but Mikotes and Auras. And that's another thing I'm thinking about, too. I was like, is this going to look good on all races? <coughs> Funny enough, the male Vieira have something like this. One of the male Vieira hairstyles. Um... Uh, there's the this one. No, it's Hithlodeus. Never mind, that's Hithlodeus. That's a actually fucking mod. Um, <clears throat> where is it? There's one hair mod. There's one. It's not a mod. It's just that like very straight banged one, and then it has like a little love lock and a ri and a ribbon. It's cute. But I, I can't. You might find need to it. look up. No, wait, pretty sure. Wait, there it was. Go down a little bit more. This one? It was in green. In green. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yes. This. <clears throat> this one is fine because it's bound. So it just kind of looks like a little ponytail. And it's coming from, at least it looks like it's coming from the back. But like this one is more or less okay. On, in some angles, it's kind of eh. Um, I wish they had a version without it for people who just want these bangs and don't want the little tail. <coughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, and then there's that one hairstyle that's only in the front that gives disappointment. Yeah, the thing they do that's weird with like the Vera hairstyles is that like they'll give you the same style and then change the bangs and like add flowers or something. Yes, I've noticed that too. I noticed that too with some of the Vera hairstyles. It's like here's this, here's twin tails, here's twin tail with flower, and it's like, thanks. Gee, thanks. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, um... I... Obviously, like, if an entry is deemed to be excellent, Square Enix may decide to implement it into the game in the future. Note that there is no guarantee that winning entries will be implemented into the game. Entries that did not win may also be selected for implementation in the future. If an entry is to be implemented... The development team may make adjustments to the design or features of the hairstyle. <clears throat> and the people that won get these, like, fat cat earrings. Mm. Again, I, I don't think they're going to implement every single one. I think they're probably... If they do implement some of them, they're obviously going to probably... Um... There will probably, <coughs> probably be, like, a top ten. They'll probably Honestly, imp they're probably gonna lean more towards the shorter hairstyles. Unfortunately, they always fucking do. Yeah, but I, I wish we had more messy hairstyles in this game, though, because I like Kafka's hairstyle, for instance. I mm -hmm. adore Kafka's ponytail. Yeah, but, but there's nothing like that. There's nothing as messy as that. Like the messy yeah. ones are pretty. I I definitely want. <clears throat> Again, some of the some of the entries that were like guy hairstyles, they look nice, but they're, they're they, too many of them give K-pop. Too many of them give K-pop webtoon pro tag vibes, and they're all so samey, and I don't care. Give men longer hair, <laughs> too. Like I, the men especially need longer hair. They have like none. I'm, I'm surprised with like. How many of these are not like long mm. male hair Jack options? Because mm -hmm. like there's the half a bun that we literally saw meteor in in the trailer. Like mm -hmm. you you could do. I'm, I'm surprised like the, none the of the winning hair. entries were like kind of similar to that. Yeah. You know? Like <clears throat> like they and and we've seen recently that they're trying to give male characters in 14 like longer hair. <laughs> Like, even if it's just, like, some of their bosses and stuff. They're trying to give, like, some longer hair, some more hair variety. So the fact that a lot of the winning entries just look the same is, like, what's going on? Who's judging these? Um. But. I. <clears throat> I don't know. I want them. I, I, it sucks that like one of the few long hair options that for, that males have, it looks nice, but it has like this weird headband, like this weird head bead thing on it. And again, it's like if you're going to put fucking hair accessories on the hairstyles, either let me customize them or let me get rid of them because so many people don't use that hairstyle because of the stupid beads. That there's a mod specifically that gets rid of them because people want to use that hairstyle. And it it's it kills me. It kills me. It's like we want to use the hairstyles that you do give us, but you don't you don't let us like cus you can you only let us customize it so much. <coughs> I hate that the great lengths doesn't have a version with bangs. It's a very cute hairstyle. I wish there was a version with bangs. Um. <coughs> I don't know, man. I also know that I'm mostly just complaining. Because even if they did give us some longer hairstyles, unless they met the criteria that I wanted, I probably wouldn't use them anyway. But they would be a start. I would get them to be just like, I want more of this. <laughs> yeah. Cecil's hairstyle would be really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Another really good example of men can have long hair. 
Yeah. Especially considering that Final Fantasy loves to give their male characters long hair. Mostly they're villains, but my point standing, they love to give the males long hair. Like, let's commit to the bit. Commit. Like, give, give my men long, beautiful hair. I would like Clive's hair in 14. Hmm. Here's the funny thing. If there's a Clive NPC in the game, which there will be, there, there probably will be. Um, <clears throat> that means that his hair will be in the data, which means modders will take it and then make it so that you can mod Clive's hair onto your character, just like they did with the fucking Estinian sweat. Modders jumped on that shit so quickly. They were like, Estinian sweat is a shirt. Give us a stinny and sweat. <coughs> I think people. within a couple days, people got that and, and modded it so you could wear it on your character. Unbelievable. I don't care if I have to do a raid for it like near. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I'd be down. I, I, I'd be down for more like unlockable stuff. The game already has plenty of unlockable stuff, but I'm always down for more because that means I play the game more and I like playing the game, so. Uh, <clears throat> but I think we've been going for about five hours. Holy shit. <coughs> and I think talking for five hours straight is starting mm. to have its effect on my throat, which means I should probably start getting ready to shut up. If they could make it a permanent thing, too, because Yoshi P is the producer for four games. I mean, I'd be down for it to be a permanent event. I they probably won't do that. They'll probably make the event like for a couple months um, instead of like your standard event. Or they'll make it up to the up to um, when Do when uh, Dawn Trail comes out. Which might be, again, about three or four months. Um, but I, I don't think it'll be permanent, unfortunately. I it just doesn't seem like something they would do. Which sucks, mm. but uh, I think what we're going to do now is we <clears throat> are probably going to be heading out. Uh, I'm just looking for somebody to raid really quick. I am. Oh, my mm. voice is my voice is definitely starting to give out. They did give Noctis's hairstyle for the 15 event, so Clive's hairstyle seems possible. <coughs> yeah, no, it seems possible. Right now, they've just showed that we can get his outfit and Torgal. Um, but I'm sure there's probably additional stuff. <clears throat> and if not, if Clive as an NPC is in the game, then modders can get the fucking hairstyle, which means that at some point in the future, maybe it'll be a thing. But I, I'd say it's more likely than not. <clears throat> I know we're not getting fucking Jill's hairstyle because it's long. But yeah, let's uh let me take a quick look at who we can hemkim raid. Alrighty, I know who I'm raiding. So Goblin King Gurg is currently playing Total Total Warhammer. So we're gonna fucking we're gonna we're gonna pass we're gonna pass the freaking love over there. <coughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh how fun. I definitely need to stop talking. Holy shit. My coughs are getting yeah. painful. But heckin, thank you for joining me, everybody. And everybody here too in heckin chat. Zara, Anthony, Lynn, thank you so much for joining me today as we talk about 14, even though it's not a Sunday. Uh, for tomorrow, uh, let's see. I played Star Rail last week. Uh, we might go back. We might do some 14, actually. We might do some 14 tomorrow. Just just hop back in, have some chill vibes. I don't know. We'll we'll probably do that tomorrow. And then on Monday we'll be back with some more Tears of the Kingdom. And then next Saturday we will be um because I gave up the Kingdom Hearts day, we will be next week uh back with Little Goody Two Shoes. And <clears throat> I don't know. There's always the possibility of a Friday stream, but I never promise one. So <coughs> that's more or less the plan. Hopefully I'll have more of a voice uh, yeah, yeah. next week. Hopefully I'll have more of an, a voice next week. Hopefully I'll have more of a voice tomorrow. But 
I need to stop talking. <laughs> so we're going to send you over to Goblin King Gurg. Fucking <clears throat> when it comes to our raid message, let's see. We're going to do. Uh, I, I know what our raid message will be. I just I got to find my emote. So. Our raid message will be cat moms are real. Okay. We get we get cat moms. Those that is your raid message. Copy and paste it and spread it around. Go 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 off and conquer everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one everybody. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>